All right, and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Friendship Podcast After Hours. This show with with some lovely ladies and Canel Joseph, special guest in the house, guys. Um, quick announcement we get into the show. Number one, rumble.com slash Fresh and Fit. As you guys know, that is the home base for us. So if we ever get canceled, you know exactly where to find us. As you guys know, we're demonetized on YouTube. We make a bunch of controversial content. It is what it is. But the future of um, you know free speech is going to be on Rumble, guys. And castclub.tv, as you guys know. And we so did check us out over there. An amazing interview with the Rumble CEO, Chris, as well, early on today. So go check it out as well. Yeah. We talk about how to monetize on all the different platforms. And, uh, yeah, man, and if you're someone that's kind of, you know, a little bit more, um, how do I say this, controversial in your topics, you might want to go ahead and migrate on over to Rumble and or X, one of the more free speech platforms. But we're live everywhere right now, guys. We're on YouTube, Rumble, X. Even Twitch, we are live on everywhere right now. For man. now. For now. So, uh, but <laughs> oh, if, if we ever get canceled, you guys know exactly where to find us. Castclub.tv is the main thing, and then rumble.com slash fresh and fit. Um, Chris, what about you? What do you got? Dumb the Monko. Man, it's Friday, man. I'm sleep deprived. Shout out to the merch gang. Shout out to the girls. And uh, follow me on my socials. And, and Chris, Aaron Pox, I don't know. My main IG got banned. I don't know. Niggas be hating. But um, am I. Twitter, right? Uh, Aaron Pox and C. And let's have a great show. And chat, do not go too hard on the ladies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Guard, guard. Uh, Thank you, Chris. And, uh, and yeah, and then guys, we got a yacht party August 10th, man. It's going to be lit. 350 people. Open uh, bar. FFPod.org is the website. We're going to have open bar. We're going to have free food there. It's going to be litty. Tickets are on sale right now, man, for nine ninety eight, man. You are not going to find a yacht for that cheap with an open bar seating 350 people. It's going to be three stories, and it's going to be 120 foot mega fucking yacht. It's going to be lit. It's going to be a great time. Go ahead and jump in, guys. We're going to probably have 100 to 150 guys oh, there, absolute max, but we're going to definitely have, have way more girls, so it's going to be fucking cool. And we only have two VIP tickets left on a yes. couple more general admission. Wait, VIP, wait, wait. two more tickets at 3500 and then the 998 is the main price tag, guys, for the general admission, and it's going to get free open bar, which is in itself but Please don't worry, you're free. Wait, hold on. Free, uh, three stories? These are free. So what's up then? We out. <laughs> wait, three. So, wait, wait. So if our first goes missing, we know where you're at then. Yeah, probably. Hey, bro. Come on, man. Yo, yeah. first, where you at, man? Just chill out, man. Chill out. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the show, nigga. Yeah, man. What the... Ladies, if oh, you don't mind. Oh, my this God. Guy, All right, oh. man. Well, hold on. Where's Chris going to be? Open bar. Okay. Oh, yeah. You know it, man. Uh, yeah, drunk for free. Ladies, if you don't no. mind, uh, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want to, of course. Your body count. We'll start right here. Welcome to the show. Name, age, what you do for a living. Um, yeah, my name is Amit. I'm from Israel. I'm 24 next month. Mm -hmm. It's Amit? Leo. Yeah, uh, Amit. Am Amit with a T. Yeah. Okay, how old are you? 24 next month. Okay, so you're 23 now. You said you're yeah. from Israel. Where are you from? Tel Aviv? Or? Yeah, Tel Aviv. Okay. <laughs> oh, you um, know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work? OF. She belongs oh. to the street. Oh, yeah. Why is crazy? Why is crazy? You can't make this shit up. What's your highest education? <laughs> Not surprised. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. I, I mean, who owns OF, right? So, yeah. okay. Uh, highest education level completed? Always what? A highest like education completed. Like, did you go to college, high school, um, associate's no. degree? No, not that. Okay, of them. did you go to high school here or in, in Israel? No, in Israel. Okay, so high school. Yeah, I just uh, moved here. You just moved here. How long have okay. you been in Miami then? Like two months. Oh, okay. She belongs to the streets. Did you do the OF back in Israel or did you just start it when you got here? No, when I started here. When you got here, okay. Uh, I'm just curious, like, who got you into the content? Was it just you doing it yourself or someone said, hey, come on this platform? I have some manager that he helped me to figure it out and do my thing. Oh, he didn't help you. Yeah. He kind of hurt yeah. you, but all right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's, oh, what's, your, right, money. what's your relationship yeah. status? S single, boyfriend, married? Single, single. Single, okay. No, Are your parents together? Yeah. Okay. Are they back in Israel, I'm guessing? Yeah, all my family there. Okay. And then, Fresh, your favorite question. Are you on birth control? Birth control? Yeah, are you on birth control? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. Wait, hold on. Body count? Well, oh, you want someone on your body yeah. count? <laughs> How many bodies you got? Yeah, bodies. Come on. And Miami only. Yeah. I was baby fucking my It's Kali. over 9,000! Huh? 9? No, I said I was being Kali before, mm. and I moved to Miami right now. So yeah. how many bodies you got? How much money? I'm like, bodies. How much like, bodies? Like, like, like sexual niggas, partners. Niggas that you fucked. How much bodies? Niggas that you fucked. Oh. <laughs> We're not talking about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. All right. All right. That's fine. Man, she won't talk about it. Count, uh, Amen. I'm assuming you speak Hebrew, English. Yeah. Uh, do you speak Arabic too or no? No. Okay. So you're full. Okay. Cool. What about you? What's your name? 
Hi, hey, my yo. name is Eloenia Exantis. I'm sorry, Eloenia? Eloenia, yes. Okay. It's a different name. It has Damn. every vowel. That's in unique. It. Yeah. Elu- Thank Eloenia. you. Yes. Okay, how old are you? I'm 34. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Fort Lauderdale by way of Haiti. Okay. Yes, hey, 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 hey. 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 Oh, wait. Oh, wait. All right. Well, yeah. what do you do for work? I create wearable art and handmade jewelry. I made this bra that I have on. I was about to say. Okay, yeah. so you make, you're like an artist, but you make clothing. I make jewelry. Okay. Yeah, but I make art as well. Grills, I've made a chandelier. I make all types of things. Can you make art for him? He needs some, some drip. Yeah, I can. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, highest education level completed for you? Bachelor's of Science in Healthcare Management. Okay. Um, where'd you get it from? Florida A&M University. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, relationship status for you? I am single. All right. Are your parents still together? No. All right. Birth control for you? I've never taken it. Ever. All right. You All natural. I don't. Okay. You got blessed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you? What's your name? My name is Bia. Bia. Okay. Bia, Bia. Like, like, like the artist Bia? Bia, Bia. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, like Bia. <laughs> uh, how old are you? I am 21. Where are you from? Portugal, and I'm African also. Okay. Oh, Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. You're from Portugal. Okay. You don't have an accent, though. Did, no. Like, did you grow up in the United States? No. Remember, uh, I grew up in England. Oh, shit. Okay. So, you grew up in England, but you're of Portuguese descent. Yeah. But you don't have a British accent either. Did you go I to? Don't. Did you go to like an American school in the UK or what? No. Like when I transferred here, I think the accent just kind of caught on. Okay. What? Did you go to high school here or in the UK? Yeah, I went to middle school and high school here. Okay. There, there you go. Yeah. All right. Okay. That makes sense. And where'd you go to high school then? Uh, I went to a sports school actually in Boca. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm a host and I do content creation. A host of what? Like a restaurant. Oh, a hostess. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then you said you do what kind of content do you make? Like TikTok and I model like for a couple of can- uh, companies. And yeah, things but like, like what that. kind of content specifically do you make? Like it's um, on TikTok. I guess like. I'll post like mukbangs of me eating or clothing. People send me clothing to okay, do videos. Okay, so you do in. like yeah. clothing hauls and stuff. Yeah, things like that. Damn. Okay. So no, Chris thought you, no. did, you were doing uh, Damn. spicy content. That, that's what Absolutely you not. Okay, okay. <laughs> highest yeah, education level completed for you. Uh, I went to high school and a little bit of college. Do you have your associates? Uh, I do not. Okay, relationship status for you? I'm in a relationship. In a relationship? Yeah. Okay, how long have you been together? Still? <laughs> Good job. Good for job. about like seven months now. Okay. Wait, is this a new one? No, it's not. Oh want? wait, no, no, no. About like twelve months. I'm sorry, my date's a little. I'm about to say, no, 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 no. It's a, the same. That's a new nigga. No, okay. it's, it's the same. Be, damn, first of all, the same. Of you, man. Gotta what be the no, it's uh, the same. What, what does he do? Uh, he owns a music studio. Okay. All right. Um, all right, and then our uh, birth control for you? Not at all. No. Okay. And are your parents together? They are not. Okay, divorced. So no, no. All right. And oh uh, yeah, and you're full Portuguese, right? Yeah, Angolan, Angolan, Angolan. Angolan, yeah, there you yeah. go. Angolan, okay. Whatever that means. It's in Africa. They African own country that speaks Portuguese. I know. I'm just kidding. Are you? No, he not. Right. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. <laughs> uh, you, you, know, we'll, you were here before. We'll do our special guest last. Yeah. Okay. What about you? What's your name? Hi, my name is Rosanji. People call me Rosie. I'm 20 years old. 21. I'm sorry. Okay. Rosie. And I'm Dominican. Okay. Okay, so Rose Rosie, Angie? 21. Rosanji. Where are you from originally? Dominican Republic. Okay, like, do you live in Miami now? Or are you oh, just... in, uh, in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, where'd you go to high school? In DR or... In, in here, in Boca. Okay, all right. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, and then what do you do for work? I work in a restaurant as a host. And I also do on the side, like, facial. Do you guys know each other? We you do. you guys work together? Yeah. Okay. No, oh. we don't work together. <laughs> no, we don't work together, but we <laughs> no. know each other. Yeah, okay. we know each other. Okay. How'd you guys meet? They're both from Boca. Boca. Yeah, um, we're did you guys yeah. go to high school together? We no. didn't. Okay. Um, so you're a hostess, and what else? And I do facials and lashes and stuff like that. So you're an esthetician? Side. Yes, okay. correct. And then uh, highest education level completed for you? Um, high school diploma. Okay. Uh, relationship status for you? I have a boyfriend. Okay. How long have you been together? Four years. Oh, shit. How would you guys meet? I still want a story. <laughs> did you guys meet in high school? Did you guys meet in the um, restaurant? I know him because my friend know his friend, and then we just link in a park one day, and then we met there. Just in a park one day, we linked up. <laughs> yes. What does that sound like, bro? <laughs> what you fucked in the park? What does no. That, what does that sound like? No, you said you liked in a park. You fucked in no. a park. A friend of a friend. Yeah. In a car. Okay. Literally. That's I mean social circle game. I mean, that's ninety nine percent of how dudes meet their girl. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, are your parents still together? No. Okay. Divorce. 
Um, they not together since I born. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Uh, birth control for you? No. Okay. Do you have any kids? No. Okay. I have a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Bad bunny. Huh? Yeah, all right. All right. She has a bunny. There okay. you go. Um, all right. Does anyone here have kids? No. No. Okay. All right. Uh, what about Damn. you? What's your name? Hi, Welcome everyone. Back. Hey. Hi. My name is Maylene. Okay. I'm 23 years old, and I'm in the Navy Reserves. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First doesn't, first doesn't nice. like, uh, hey, man, first doesn't forget, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How can I forget her? I, 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 Why? I ain't gonna lie, I I'm forgot, memorable, huh? I be forgetting. No, uh, I forgot, I'm man. Forgettable. I ain't gonna lie. Shut up. You remember <laughs> okay. me. Okay. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Miami, Nicaragua, Hondureña. Mm. Uh, ah, nice. Um, okay. Uh, and then you said Navy, right? Reserves? Yes. And you, were you active before? You were active before, right? Yeah, now I'm oh, in the reserves. Sure, well, right? Oh, she'd be active for she'd the backs, all right? Nah. <laughs> like I said, buddy racks. <laughs> buddy right. racks. Navy reserves. Do you have like a full time job then? Uh, I actually just got hired, or I think I got hired, to work for a CPA office. Okay. Okay. That's yeah, cool. So... Wait, you have your accounting degree? No, no, no. I'm going to be like the front desk person. Okay, so you're going to be like a <laughs> receptionist. Yes. That's okay. a good start. For now, you yeah. know, while I go to college and stuff. You should work for him. I do need an assistant. So, what's up then? I'm I right here. I need an assistant. I'll be your assistant. You, How much are you gonna pay me? We Twenty up. Five. Twenty up. Mm -hmm. You start ten. No. <laughs> no. I'm getting paid seven racks in the military. Yeah. I'm not going any lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, okay. W W employer okay. abuse. Okay. Uh, highest education level completed for you. Oh, you're in college, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm in college. All right. You're in college. You're using that GI Bill, I guess. Yes. What sir. are you majoring in? Uh, I'm gonna do a bachelor's of um, science and nursing now. Nurse. In nursing? Yes. Okay. And then, are your parents still together? No. Okay, divorce. Birth control for you? No. No? All right, relationship status? Single. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oops. Wait, hold on, hold on. We need a backstory, oh, no. Miss, Miss Barrett. So, <laughs> so, a couple weeks slash months ago, you came on the show. You had a man. So, you do remember me? Uh, I said I did. No, Fresh is the one that remembered. Yeah, I, yeah. I did it. It was me that so did what it. Happened? He, he remembers. Was it the show or was it something nah, else? Nah, he broke up with me. Oh, why? the show, that's why. You, I don't know. He says that I was, um, I would rather not talk about it, to be honest. Too friendly? No, not mm too friendly. What was it then? Roughly. Um... <laughs> Basically, remember last time I was like, okay, we're in the Navy, whatever. Um, he was underway at the time. He gets to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, he ghosts me. Three days later, it's my birthday. He broke up with me he on my birthday. He ghosted you? He ghosted me. No way. Yeah. That's messed nice up, right, Canel? I that's wouldn't ghost saying. you. There you go. I wouldn't ghost you. That's his fault. I mean, that's his problem. Like, he'll it's a loss, to be honest. He'll, he'll, he'll pay his hand bucks, though. He'll pay his hand bucks. That's funny. Sorry, that's guys. the minimum wage, man. That's below minimum wage. That's what you deserve. Right. Wait, what's the minimum wage Damn. in Florida? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Well, He's no, like, you're, 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 not, you're not out of Florida, right? You're, you're, you live... Where, where I live in Houston. Houston. Okay. Oh, you're yeah. in Texas. But I, okay. but yeah, I travel a lot. Yeah, the minimum wage in Texas is different than, than Florida. Do you have electricity? Do you have electricity? Fuck no. That's no. why I came out here. <laughs> Wait, really? That's why I, yeah, yeah, I flew out here yesterday. Because of the uh, storm? Yeah. yeah there was no power, so I was like, let me come out here. <laughs> nice. Shit. That's okay. crazy. I have money, nigga. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, we're glad you're here with us, man. Um, okay, so, okay. Wait, uh, so you weren't kidding when you said you were homeless? <clears throat> yeah. You weren't kidding. No, I was being real. Until we get power back, yeah. He's homeless, bro. Yeah, so. Because right. <laughs> of the storm. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Storm blew it away. Yeah, when's the last time you guys got hit? Har Harvey was the big one, right? Yeah. The last one? Yeah, Harvey. Was this one as Harvey? I, yeah, it was Harvey. Harvey, right? Well, wow. um, I remember going to Houston a few days after that, man. It was terrible. It was bad. Um, uh, you guys didn't have that snow in 2020? Yeah, yeah. That snow was bad. I just don't think Houston's really good at, like, when it comes to weather. It's not. It's not. not. Yeah, oh, Texas yeah. infrastructure is completely fucked up. I remember one time it, like, I used to live in Laredo, Texas. It drizzled one time, like, a little bit of ice. They fucking freaked out. They closed everything down. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, the, the Texas is terrible when it comes to infrastructure for storms and shit. You didn't answer, by the way. What? She said she was single. No, why you got that? Oh, oh. Man, he said that I was a crybaby and that da 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 da. <laughs> but low key, I was like, what's it called? Um, I was a provider in the relationship. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that you were the man. Okay. You were the man. Oh, Basically, okay. and I guess Wait. he felt insecure about it. So hold on. How, how's that? He's still active. Your reserve. How's that even possible? What you mean? 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, my rank is higher than his, uh, and I still make more money than him. Period. Wait, what is and he? And I had the car, I had the apartment. What, what, what was he like? E, what, what, what was he like? E three, E four. E three. I think he's an E four now. I think he just made rank. I'm an E five. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wait. So you never cheated? Never cheated. He Bro. cheated. Stop the cap. <laughs> wait. Okay. What? What? Wait. I, okay, I got to ask this. What was your MOS in the military, and what was his? Um, I was an AO. He's an ABH. Interesting. Okay. All right. Nice. Um, so, yeah. okay. All right. Uh, what about you? What's your name? Welcome back. Thank you. My name is Nicole, and I'm 25 years old, and I'm from Colombia. Okay. Uh, what do you do for work? Um, I work at T-Mobile, and I do Uber, and I work for the Kingdom of God. Kingdom of God. God. Amen. Uh, you work yes. in a church? No, it's not about a church. It's a uh, figure of speech. Right. No, yeah. it's not. Well, what is kingdom of it's, God then? It's a lifestyle. Work, well, you want to tell them then? Well, yes. Yeah, so what that pretty pretty much means is that I am a surrendered vessel. So I gave everything to him. I surrender everything to him. And then he has his spirit inside of me and I release him Period. Well, well, everywhere I go. Well, just say you serve God. You, you, you can say that. All right, so Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're, you're religious, I guess. Yeah. Well, no, what's... not religious. It's not a religion. Uh, I, I, I think more of a I lifestyle, maybe. maybe. Okay, so you don't follow a religion? No. So okay. who do you she believe in? God. Jesus Christ of the Bible, not a church, not a building. Sometimes yeah. putting religion onto somebody gives yeah. you like that like stigma of like you're a certain way versus like I'm just serving God. Are you Christian, Catholic? I follow Jesus Christ of the Bible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So that, mean, that means Christian. Non-denominational. Christian nowadays is not yeah. what it used to be, bro. So so rather than put yourself in a category, you just say, I serve Jesus Christ. No, it's, it's fucked up, bro. It's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> because all of those denominations, that's not even the truth. All lies. The translation The translation for the audience okay. is Christian. Okay. So, no, so, right. so the denominations are not true? No. They, they, Orthodox Christianity, Catholics, Protestants, all not true? They were made to divide rather than um, exactly. you know, excel. The kingdom of God doesn't divide. If it was true, then it wouldn't be divisive. It's the whole like. Help me out here, bro. What, what this, the hell is going on? This is basically on? saying that, like, in religion for Christ, Christians, especially, like, the, the whole divide between uh, Catholic, Pe Pentecostal is all like a divide to divide the churches when it should be one church, only one. And that just means that she's saying, forget all that. That's cool, but I'm not rocking with that. I'm rocking with Jesus mm -hmm. Christ alone. Yes. A, a relationship, because it's a relationship. It's yeah. not about going to church. It's yeah. a relationship. Yeah. So you don't go to church at all? No. So if someone asks you, what re religion are you saying? I'm not religious. I'm not religious. No, that's a lie. I yeah. live in the truth. I've never heard of this before. Okay, speaking of the truth, what's the body count then? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, no, it's okay because, you see, oh, no. I, 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 I I didn't always know Christ, and that's what is so beautiful. I know, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, that I'm not again. defined by that, but if you want to know, it's eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Times not six. <laughs> you said times six? No, Coconut. no, it's eight. Okay. You believe her, bro? That's eight? Come on, man. Yeah, <laughs> you believe her? Is it? Nope. I believe it. Why would I lie to you guys? I believe it. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I believe I believe it. inside of me already knows the truth. Uh, nope. I think I believe it. I believe it. It's okay. eight. Nope. Uh, okay. That okay. was a lie. What is, okay, uh, highest education level completed for you? Bachelor's. Okay, what'd you get it in? Sociology. Okay. Uh, are your parents still together? No. Okay. Uh, relationship status? Single right now. Mm-hmm. Were you recently single? No, I've been single for a while. Oh, okay. You said right now as if like you just broke up. <laughs> no, no, no. I've been single for a while. Uh, okay. Yeah. So parents are not together. Uh, birth control for you? No. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. And then what's your like uh, ethnic background? Oh, Colombian, Colombian. Uh, oh, yeah. You're yeah, Colombia. Colombia. What part of Colombia are you from? Sorry. That's what Cali. Okay. Have you guys been to Cali? I know you guys went to, went to Medellin. Parcera. We went to Medellin. Yeah. Yeah, I went to Medellin. I don't like it, man. Yeah. Much, bunch of wars, too many, three of, well, too if, many prostitutes. Well, if, if you go to Cali, oh, wow. you actually get a lot of the culture and yep. not like, you know, I guess, horse trying to like rub your skin. See, I need a Paisa girl. I need a Paisa girl. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I need. Um, you said, you, are you, what, are you Jewish or are you, well, yeah. do you practice Judaism or do you practice Christianity? As, what do you practice? I'm Jewish. Oh, like actually yeah. Torah? Yeah. Okay. Torah. What's your thoughts on Jesus Christ? What is what? I'm just kidding. Don't answer that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm no. just kidding. Uh, Guest of honor. Yeah. No, you're not. You're not kidding. Guest of honor. Um, <laughs> uh, we know who you are, but they might not. Yeah. Who are you? By the way? Um, my name's Canel, aka Eugene. Um, uh, I basically just do videos on the internet, man. That's the easiest way to explain it. So, yeah.
Are we going to see Eugene today? Nah, nah. I, Eugene was too scared to come on here. Are you scared? Yeah, y'all would have probably called him Beta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, so I got a question for the ladies. Uh, we got a topic today. Well, two things, actually, that are interesting. Um, I guess I'll start here and then work my way back around this way. Have you ever yelled at your boyfriend or a man that you were dating in public? Ooh. Yes or no? No. Okay. I'll come back to you then. So for you, no. All right. Okay. What about you? Have you? I haven't. I've been yelled at, though. Never? Never. Wait, okay. so you, you didn't yell at your ex-man? Yeah, no. I was about to say, bro. Pay some bills, nigga! I yeah. would yell at him in, in, in private 100%, and he hated that shit. But it's because he would make me so mad. Okay. But not so in public. In, okay. In private, what'd you, what'd you yell at him about? About what the fuck he was arguing me about with. Sorry. Do you remember what it was? Um. I'm paying with damn bills. Okay. For, no, no, no. For, no, 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 no. For example, um, when I was in the Navy and I was on the ship, I was the only girl in my shop. And it was all males. I was the only girl. And he hated it. He was very insecure about it, I guess I would say. But mm -hmm. I understand where he's coming from. So, like, he'll be like, oh, like, why were you talking to so-and-so? And I'll be like, yo, they're my co-workers. Like, what do you want me to do? Okay. And we'll start arguing about stuff like that. And then I'll be like, yo, like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, get the fuck out of my apartment. Get out, get out, get out. Maybe yeah. he, had a, he had a hunch. All right. Nah. Or she had a hunch. I ain't never did nothing to him. Okay. No. Yeah, not to him. Okay. What about uh, <laughs> what about you? Uh, what um, Have you ever yelled at your boyfriend and or a guy you were dating in uh, in public? Doesn't have to be a boyfriend. It could be a guy you were seeing. Pendejo. Yeah. No. <laughs> never? No, never. No, nah, she's a medic. She has. Okay. Uh, In private. Okay. What did you guys argue about when you yelled at him? I don't remember right now. Okay. What about, yeah, can you try to think and let me know? What about you? Have you ever yelled at your boyfriend in public? No. Or a guy you were seeing? No. No? Okay. Y'all all fucking lying, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, what, what, have you ever yelled at him in private then? Um, no, I try to like keep calm and collected usually. So you, you try to, right? I try to, but everybody fucks up. Okay, so what'd you so yell you at him for? So you do? Um, I don't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, convenient. Uh, what about you? Um, not in public, but I've yelled at my ex before, yes. Okay, about what? Um, just him being hyper masculine. Hyper masculine? Period. Yeah. Wait, period. In, what, in what way? Um, just like. There was somebody who was like gay that was talking to him, and he just thought that person was trying to hit on him, and he wasn't. Ow! It was just a conversation. Why would you yell at him then? Me? Yeah. Because he was overreacting. The person was like mentally challenged. He wasn't gay or anything. He just. You mean like sketch? Hmm? Oh my god. What's up, brother? What? Uh, uh oh. Don't Too soon. Me. All right, my bad. <laughs> right. My bad. Uh, what about you? Have you ever yelled at a boyfriend or a guy that you were seeing in public? <laughs> no. Never. No. no. I have no way. She has no exes. I have no exes. But what, what about a guy that you were seeing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So since not all of you guys are angels, I knew that was going to happen, so I came up with a backup question. <laughs> See, I just predict, man. Have you ever um, have you ever witnessed yeah. a friend yell at a guy or a boyfriend or, or a man they were seeing publicly? Or somebody on the street? Um, yeah, my friend. Your friend? Why does she yell at him? Ones. They just like fight because what she wearing. Okay. Yeah. Over what she was wearing. Yeah, and he was just like, "Why are you wearing this shit? Blah blah blah. It's too much, you know." Okay, she was There's showing too much skin. Some guys like this, yeah. Okay, and this was back in Israel. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about you? Um, I try to mind my business, so I don't really know. Like you said, random people on the street. Yeah, right? yeah like or or a friend. Have you ever like witnessed a friend like get in an argument with her boyfriend and like yell at him in public? Um, I can't think of one right now. Can you skip me for a second? Oh, I'll come back to you. Okay. What about you? Have you? Uh, no, I haven't seen any of my friends personally do it, but like I've In seen public? like people like on the street do it. Like okay. I obviously don't know what they're talking about, but I've seen it. <laughs> okay. Can I, what about you? You ever seen anybody? No. Argue? I have not seen it. I do want to see it though. <laughs> I do want to see it. Okay. All right. Uh, what about you? Have you ever seen a friend yell at a guy in public? No. Bayaso. Come on, man. No, none of your friends never yell I only at... have two friends. I and you've never like... witnessed them, like, yell at their guy or uh, something uncle. like that? No. Or even get in arguments? No. Okay, why was it that you yelled at your guy then in private? I don't know. Like, bae, you lay. Like, you hurry up. Late? Just stuff like that. Nothing that crazy. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I, friend witness. I have. You. I have seen. Like, well, not in public, but, like, in front of, like, the 
the friend group. Okay, well, that's cool. that that counts. Yeah. So okay. what'd you say? Why'd you yell at him? Just I don't know. I don't even know. Like them arguing. Like they will be in their room, and then like we'll be in the house, and you just hear like bickering. Like no, no, no. But it's just like they're being too loud, and you know that they're fighting. Okay. Mm. You don't know what it's about. Yeah. No. Okay. What about you, Colombia? Um, I guess one, but it was like a situation, but it wasn't like in public, but it, you know, like we were all in a house, okay. but it was like a, or in front of friends. Was what was it about? Situation, um, some infidelity going cheating? on. Oh, cheating. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So my next question now is whose fault was it when you saw the yelling or the fighting? It could be in your, si well, we'll start first with in your situation. Well, you said you didn't argue with your guy ever, right? You never yelled at a guy. Whose fault was it in the scenarios that you've seen them arguing? The guy's fault or the girl's fault? Who cheated? The guy. Oh, the guy cheated in yeah. your case? Mm. Okay. So, guy. Typical. All right. Oh. What about uh, what about you? Whose fault was it uh, when you have seen the argument? Well, your argument and then your friends. Well, in my argument, I would say that it was his fault, but <laughs> I guess I'll take some responsibility for it, too, because I couldn't keep my cool, and I know that, like, men don't like getting yelled at. Uh -huh. Right, like they think that that is obnoxious, so I should maintain my cool. But it's just like, you piss me off. Like, shut up. Like, what are you even saying? So, okay, so know. it was his fault. More, I guess. Okay, yeah. and then in the situation where you saw your friends fighting, do you know whose fault it was when they were bickering? No, I don't know that. Okay, what about you? Um, oh. oh, I say no. So. Yeah, you said no to everything. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thanks for being useless. What about you? Uh, when you when you did argue. With your guy, whose fault was it? Yours or his? Um, I would probably say both. I think there's accountability in both sides. Okay, but there's always one perp main perpetrator. Um, well, I didn't really say that like we argued or anything. I said that I saw like people arguing like on the street. I yeah. personally don't know whose fault don't know that, that was. One? Yeah, no. Okay, but you did say you had disagreements with your guy before. Uh, yeah. Whose fault was that? Um, it was his fault. No, it's not good to like blame other people. Like, I mean, I guess like half half. My fault. There's times it was my fault, and times it was his fault also. Okay, what about you? Um, my ex he was a serial cheater, so definitely his fault. Um, <laughs> the even once... in this case where it was a dude hitting on him that he thought was hitting on him. Oh no, not in that. So y'all argued about a couple of different things, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so the times you did argue. Uh, Interesting. Okay. He was he was trying to make me turn into like a trap queen. Like he was trying to have me do things that I didn't sign up for. Who so, are you, who yeah. are you dating? My ex. I know, but who who was he? Well, um, <laughs> I rather not say his name. On, but um, yeah. Wait. He was a little toxic, so that's why we we argued. FBI, open up. So okay, so <laughs> he. All right, so for. Okay, so he cheated on you, so you would argue about that, and that you're saying that's a big reason why. He was attempting to cheat on him. He was sliding in my friend's DMs. He was, no way. Yeah. Cheat on you? Yeah, I know, right? You're a queen. That, that should never happen to you. Same. I, it did, though. Okay. So he would I try. cried. I cried. He tried to talk to everybody. My hairstylist. God my, damn. No way. Why, why, why do y'all do that? Saying. I don't even know why do y'all do that. Black man my, 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 custom, black? my customers. Was he black? Yeah. He ain't black, man. He, he was, was black. He was Creole. Exactly. Yes, sir. Tell him fresh. Tell him. Yeah, we don't cheat, man. Yeah, he was, from, he was from Louisiana. Cap. So, I guess that's self-explanatory. Hey, man, speak for yourself. Okay. Uh, okay, so he, so it was his fault with the cheating, and then what about, and then I guess you would blame him as well. It was his fault for the... For um, other random things? For the time you yelled at some guy for allegedly hitting on him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guy. Uh, two X. All right, what about you? Oh. Um, of course it was his fault, because... You remember what they're talking about? Yeah, yeah. You said your friends argued over her clothes. Yeah. So why was it his fault? Because she can wear it whenever she wants. Like, dude, you're not her dad. You know? Exactly. He act like he's her dad. Like, you cannot wear it in that. Like, what was she wearing you? specifically? Just something like me. Just strapless. Just the boob out. That's it. Boob out. That's it. That's it. That's it? Yeah. yeah, some strapless dress. It's not that. It was a strapless dress. Yeah. Just okay. like me. Something like How me. How short was the dress, though? Not that short. Not that like, short. to wear? Like Wait, uh, in the middle. Don't show us everything. Here. To where? To where? Like, like the middle, middle of her leg. Yeah. And it was tight. Mm-hmm. Okay. And where was she going to the club or? Yeah, we go to club. Oh. And just get mad because um, oh, all the guys gonna look at you, blah blah blah. I cannot see it. Do you think it's appropriate to wear dress like that when you have a boyfriend at home? I think it doesn't matter because if she wanna cheat on him, it's not matter what she wearing or where she go. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
If I had boyfriend, I still can wear him whenever I want because I still with him. He cannot. He the only one can touch me. The only one. People can look, okay, but in the end, I'm loyal with you. You ever had a boyfriend? It doesn't matter. I have no ex. Told you. She has no ex. She has no ex. But, but, but if, my, if my boyfriend okay. say this is, this is I think my boyfriend can say maybe <laughs> I don't like your dress, so I can maybe try to. Not wearing that, but he cannot decide for me. He, he can't can tell you anything. He can say what he thinks, but it's my choice in the end. Okay, so uh, you you don't think a guy should tell a girl what to wear? No, he can say, I think he's not pretty, I think he's not... He can say, of course, but he cannot decide for me, because it's my body in okay. the end. Okay, who agrees exactly. with that on the panel? I agree. You agree with that? Yeah, the I guy, agree. The guy can't tell her what no. to wear? Okay. No, her body, her choice. Yeah, her body, her choice. I think to a certain extent, yeah, definitely. I yeah. almost agree. Definitely. It's like half half. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Yeah. her IG is wild, man. Okay, and then uh, do you agree with that as well? No, it's to a certain extent. To an extent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's what like about you? Same. To a certain extent as yeah, well. Correct. What about you? Yeah, I think that to a certain extent. Okay, can you, uh, you know, since you guys like to say a certain extent, what extent is that right. specifically? I think it's like you have to have respect for your man because at the end of the day, you're, you're, you have a boyfriend, you have a man. So why are you going out into the streets provoking other men? So like, yeah, you want to look beautiful and everything, but just don't be like, respect your man when you go outside. I disagree. I think like the, sh the man res should respect her. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I guess, okay. Perspective. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, would you like your woman like it's walking funny, outside, serious, like wearing uh, a bikini, going you, to the club like that or something? You said like what? a mini. Would you, if you had a, if you had a girl, mm -hmm. would you like your girl going out with like a bra and like yeah. a mini skirt? Her body, her choice. You don't like, care. I don't care, like you know. But she with him the whole I'm night. A, she only with him, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Okay, like if my man is there with me, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what I wear, because he's with me and like it shows that I'm with him. But like if I'm by myself, but I'm I just want to flaunt her, you know. She that's my. True, prize, true, you know? true, true. Yeah. So if somebody wants to come up with her, that's cool, you know? It's fine. <laughs> nice. Seems like a secure man to me. I am secure. Very secure. Love that. <laughs> Period. All right. So you guys all, so everyone agrees pretty much that the girl should have the final say on what she wears. Um, the final say? Yeah, because that's her argument is like, you can make a suggestion, but I make the final call on oh, what I wear. Yeah. That's what she's saying. Oh. Do you agree with that? I don't think so. Me either. You think, think the man makes the final call? Yeah, if I respect what about you? You Yeah, think the man because makes you are culture? a reflection of your man. Okay, mm. what about you, Dominican? Do you, uh, Republic, do you think uh, you think the man makes the final call or you? Um, Him. Him? Yeah. And you so guys are folding now. Everybody's everybody switching up. man told you, <laughs> listen, Angie Rose, is that your name? Rosangie. Rose but you can call me Rose. Rose Angie. Yeah. All of what you're wearing right now, change it. Would you change? Yeah. All the time? All the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about uh, What about you? Miss Navy, would you change if uh, if your guy does this guy have the final say? It depends on what I'm wearing, honestly, and if I'm gonna be with him outside or not. Okay, so it depends on if he's there and what you're wearing. Yes. So if he doesn't like it and he says, "No, nah, I don't like that. Don't wear it," but you no, feel like, like it's conservative, you're not gonna change. It, it, like, let's say I'm going out by myself and I look like a slut, and he's like, "Yo, I don't like that. Like, change." I'll be like, "Okay, babe. Like, you got it." Yeah, but let's say you were gonna wear something, and it might be. Conservative, maybe in your eyes, but in his eyes, he's like, No, that's not conservative. I don't want you to wear it. I'll be it. like, You're tripping. I okay. don't know. I don't <laughs> know about you, this one. And you won't change. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you? Would you change? Uh, who is the final say? You or your guy? Well, I think that he would have the final say, but it depends because, you know, what if he thinks that. Like it looks good, but it actually doesn't look good. Like I'm not talking about how much I'm showing or so how much I'm not showing, not? but if he doesn't know fashion and like he's selling me to wear, I don't know, like no. orange and purple, like. True. I'm like that doesn't look good, but it's not about how much I'm showing or not. Like obviously, if it's about like how much showing or whatever, then yeah, that's okay. fine. But you're, not you're reading a bit too much. Not, into it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I am. yeah, I'm asking like who has the final say, you or him, on what you wear? Yeah, him. Like mm. whether or not how much I'm showing. I or think, not. Okay, yeah. so I majority of the something. girls surprisingly okay. Yeah. I want to say something. Yeah, sure. If it's something like he really really hates. So I'm not just gonna fight with him. I'm just okay. I'm not gonna wear it, but he cannot do it all the time. All the time, decide Period. for me. This is my clothes in the end. If he trying to change me, so he don't really like me. He right. trying to make me be something else. Right. You understand? If you see how I'm wearing and you like it, so you like it. If not, so don't don't date with me. All you girls, all you girls need to be like her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said. We're only fans, guy. So, <laughs> no disrespect, but.
No, it doesn't mean nothing. Okay. Oh, it you're only kind of girl too. You can take that. You can take that from her, bro. Yeah, but I I'm not dating. Mean no, you're not. You're not. You're single. You're single. But I'm just saying, like, y'all got different views. I feel in a way. But I what feel like y'all lacking so confidence. Now, like a man shouldn't have, have to tell you what you guys what to do. Period. I don't know. I just I I <laughs> respect my man <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> It's, a double, it's definitely a double-edged sword. Yeah, I just think double-edged. I just think if if the guy, okay, like him, okay, use him as a he player. know. It depends on he the know. guy. It depends on the guy that you're with oh. too. It's like, <laughs> it's if he know, okay, if he know that he's hot, okay, and he's hot girl, okay, mm -hmm. he know if like this, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not that like, what I'm wearing, it'd be like. Like prob, yeah, that's my girl. He, yeah, that's yeah. my girl. That's okay. my girl. But mm -hmm. if he just jealous too much, because he thinks like he's not, um, he's not a real man. If he's jealous, yeah. okay, then I guess it's from yeah, my experience. That's the world that I'm trying to say. Whatever. So it's not matter what I'm doing. Anytime, oh, it's a man here. So you, it's like this, like this. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. It's dependent about you got a point. personality. Yeah. Interesting. This is very. <laughs> Funny actually. No, I mean uh, just to watch the, the girls fuck? like flip flop and stuff is also interesting as well. Yeah, he's supporting this. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, it's supporting this. <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, all, right, all right, so we got a video to play here, guys. This thing is going viral. I tweeted about this earlier. Yes. I want you guys to check this out. This is from uh, up actually right here in Southern Florida at Fort Lauderdale Airport, man. FLL. Scary, by the way. Shout out to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Woo. Yeah, very close home. <laughs> uh, this is a girl uh, freaking out on her boyfriend, uh, and I want to get the girls' takes on this after. Uh, let's run the clip. That's like 10 minutes from me. This is where again? Fort So we're just really stressed right now. All right. Um, well, I want to get thoughts from the ladies here. I also find it interesting how uh, those people came up to him, not to her. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Miss Israel? Starting with you. Oh, yes, what are yeah. your thoughts on the video? What I'm thinking about the video? Yes. yes. I think she's crazy, bitch. <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> no, she's crazy. Because mm -hmm. no, I think no. if something um, happened, they need to talk about it by private and not do like too much drama. Why would all maybe drama? He on, maybe he cheated on her. Until if he cheated. Maybe he cheated on her. Who knows? Maybe he told her that she can't wear. Okay, if he cheated, it's something else. But for, I'm, I'm just not like that. But. Okay, interesting. What about you? First of all, I thought that was Billy Ellish. Um, <laughs> the singer? Yes. Okay. It's giving Lily Ellish. Um, uh -huh. She seemed like she was upset, obviously. Um, he seemed like he was keeping calm. Um, I don't think that, I, I don't think it was a time, I think it's a time and a place for everything, and that wasn't the time or the place. However, it's better to let things out than to hold them in. So I can't really say that she should have stopped releasing those emotions that were in, deep down inside her poom poom or wherever it came out of damn queen but i think that um that's crazy Let it was out, it was warranted Bumble God! so yeah it was warranted okay. yeah why was it warranted in your opinion um because if she would have held it in or like just got on the plane probably would have been worse on the plane at least she was like on the floor on the ground she could have just no she's in the building yeah even worse no, if she was in the air, probably they would have probably have to emergency land the way that she was reacting. So, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay. What about you? What's your um, thoughts? I don't think that's right. I feel like you should always talk to each other in private. It's like not okay to make like a big deal of everything. I just, I don't know. Okay. Talk in private? All right. I'll go to special guest last. Uh, what about you? What do you think, Dominican? Oh, I think she's crazy. She's definitely need to talk down in private with her boyfriend. Okay. That's don't. That's not right. All right. What about you? What do you think? 
Um, if I was her, I would be embarrassed, to be honest, afterwards. Like, if I saw a clip of me yelling like that in public, I'd be mm-hmm. very embarrassed. Yeah. And I, I don't think it's right for her to be yelling like, to at him like that in an airport with other people watching yeah no so. yeah she's not like his mom or something like that. yeah like yeah. it's not embarrassing just for him it's for her also for her, yeah. like, imagine you're seeing embarrassing that your relationship like, yeah. like you're a woman exactly why everyone need to know what's going on with you know mm-hmm. all right well, what about you Columbia? um i feel very sorry for her because from the abundance <laughs> of the heart the mouth speaks so imagine how like what she has in her heart yeah, she you know for her really to bad. react like that Facts. and that's what happens when we're slave to our emotions <laughs> Okay, so you said abundance of feelings, you think? Um, yeah, like, you know, that's what she has in her heart, like all of that rage, all of that pain, all of that hurt, and that's, you know, what is coming out because that, that's what she has inside of her. Interesting. You got a point? I'm not gonna what lie. do you think, brother? I think she's misunderstood, bro. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like, we can't judge off a 30-second clip. Like, we got to see what the beginning is. Damn. Do you listen to XXX Extension? Whatever the fuck his name Extension? is. Extension? Tentacio. Tentacio. Do you, yeah. listen, to you yeah. listen to him? Not too much on my homie. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. I yeah. feel like you're very like, baby, I need you in my life. <laughs> nah, I just like, I don't know. I just feel like, you know, girls are misunderstood, you know? Well, but I, think, it was I you still think situation. she needs to control her feelings and not just like, I like this. She, she did control her feelings. She could have went crazier. She could she could have went away crazy. Oh, I know. <laughs> she could beat someone. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I think we just need more context from that. I don't think it's right for us to judge that. <laughs> uh, I got a question. I'll go this way and then work my way back. Uh, you mentioned, especially for you two, I'm interested to hear your takes on it because you said she had a bunch of feelings and she had some rage. She had to, you know, I guess let it out. And then you were saying let it out, and she was warranted because better than to be on the plane. Um. Do you think modern day women um, are held accountable for their behaviors? No. No? Why do you say that? Because there is a lot of things that they are praised and they pushed, you know, like they themselves push these behaviors to just like keep feeding whatever thoughts and whatever, you know, they have inside of them that but it's not like it's not leading them to truth, you know. It's just keeping them in whatever they want to hear, like complacency. Okay. So, all right. What about you? Do you think uh, modern women are held accountable for their actions? Modern women, yeah. In general. Yeah. In general, do you think they're held accountable for their actions? Mm, I can't speak for them, but probably not. What makes you say that? Uh, most of the time, women aren't. They don't hold themselves accountable in general. Would it be fair to say it's because you <laughs> think that it's okay and it's warranted for them to go crazy at an airport? I don't think that it's warranted. No, you literally just I said wouldn't it's do warranted. it. No, I said it was warranted in her situation, but yeah. if I was in the situation, I wouldn't do that. Why? Because but that's our, that's the point. But I said I said that she should release her emotions. What the fuck? Wait, but why not you? I wouldn't do that. That's no. But why though? But, but why? That's just not my character. But why though? But you're like you're a woman too. Yeah, but I don't. I don't lash out on men. That just in answer, that's answers spaces. the question that yeah. women don't. Hold, okay. Uh, all right. So you don't think they do? All right. What about, so I'll go back to mm-hmm. to you. Do you think women hold each other accountable, or society holds women accountable in general? I don't think um, women are held accountable. You don't always. think so? No. Okay. What about you? Do you yeah, think, I don't think so. Either. You don't think so either. Yeah. What about you? Not always. No. What about you? Oh right, well, you already said <laughs> no. What about no, you? No, I don't think so. No. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, why do you think society holds women accountable? We'll start with you, Miss Israel. For me, I yeah. just, I just think like um, if it, I was in this situation, I know like, okay, um, I just know how to control my feelings, and no matter what happened to me, I first of all I respect myself, and I'm not you do? doing that things. Yeah, I am. Okay, great. Wait, that's not if, what I asked, though. I said, that's I said, what I'm trying to say. I said, I said, I said the society hold women accountable is what I'm asking, and you said no. No. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. I just don't think so. Okay. We are doomed. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Holy, bro. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. They're going to uh, get married one day, bro. <laughs> some of y'all. Some of y'all. Yeah, well, you know what? How about this? I'll switch the question. If you, if, uh, if you was yelling at her like that, what do you think would have happened? Ooh. We'll start here. If I yell in on him? No, if, if the guy was yelling at the girl the way she was yelling at him, okay. what do you think would have happened? Um, If the guy yelling on her? Yes. I think... 
Um, I think it's, I don't know. Um, <laughs> wait. I'll come I back to people, you. I think people <laughs> do so much drama because it's a man. When it's woman, it's different sometimes. What do you mean by that? People can touch, oh, he is, maybe he's dangerous, maybe he's trying to beat her. So what do you think? What, not, so what do you think? What do you think would have happened then if he yelled at her like that? I think uh, people just come and not ignoring. You know what I mean? Just come and try to do something. Okay, you think they would have stopped it? Oh, They're trying to stop okay. the because, fight. Right. Yeah, so I think you would have yeah. got arrested. You would have got arrested. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably what? in the first five seconds of him yelling, they would have thought like he's probably in the wrong. Okay. That's how it's yeah. perceived. All right. What yeah, about? literally, he would get arrested. Okay, what about you? I agree. It's it's different. It's kind of how when I was on the last episode, it's um we were talking about like equal rights and all that stuff and like how men and women are different and. I do believe that the man would have gotten arrested versus the woman. They're kind of like, hey, like, are you okay? Like, what's going mm-hmm. on? Like, they watch out for the women. Yeah. But, like, men, it's like, nah, you're wrong. Like, why are you yelling at her? Like, you're, you're gone, you okay. know? What about you? Yeah, he would have gotten arrested. Okay. So, do you, so, I guess by your guys' standards, do you guys think society holds men accountable more than women? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys think it's fair, then, that women have all the same rights and privileges as men, if not more? But you guys are not held accountable to the same degree? We could start here. No. I think so. You don't think so? Okay. It's not fair. What about you? I think it's fair. Okay. What makes you think it's fair? Um, because men and women do different things. They have different roles. A man is supposed to lead and be the head of the household. A woman takes care of the home. Okay. So he's held to a higher standard. Yeah. Okay. But why is it that women get all the same rights and privileges as men then if they're if they get even more so than if and they're not held to the same standard? I can't say that they get the same rights, equal or more. I Name one right or privilege that a man has over a woman besides being able to again? have sex with a bunch of chicks without being judged. Name one right or privilege a man has over a woman. He can get millions of women pregnant at the same time. <laughs> That's literally what I just said. Okay. I said so yeah, like name one privilege or a right that a man has over a woman besides that. Mm. Besides the ability to be openly sexual, which I wouldn't even say that's a right to be honest with you, but or a privilege. Um, I would have to think about that. I'll answer it for you. There's none, <laughs> but that's fine. Okay. There's, there's. I, 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 go ahead. You think. triggered my trap but card. All right. What about you? Uh, can you repeat the question? Yeah, I got you. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you th- do you think it's uh, fair or is it interesting that men uh, men Women are not held accountable, but they all have all the same rights and privileges as men, um, if not more, in society. Like women have more privileges, yeah. you're saying? Privileges and rights. Uh, no, I feel like everybody should be held accountable, okay. no matter if you're a woman or a man. I yeah, don't but realistically think that speaking. Yeah, realistically speaking, the man's always more account- held accountable, more than the woman. Okay, what about you? What do you think? Can you repeat the question again? Please? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you stupid. Got yeah, stupid. Okay. What are you uh, What's going on? Yeah, right now? girls, bro. They're, they're French, not being man. held accountable. Uh, like, I mean, right there. Repeat the question again. Yeah, yeah repeat the question. <laughs> um, I said clearly, men are held accountable more than women. Do you think it's fair, or what are your what are your thoughts on the fact that men are held accountable more, but women have more rights and privileges than men do? No. <laughs> No to what? <laughs> All of it. Yo, you disagree? Yeah, I disagree. Okay, well, how do you? Di- what? Why do you disagree? Can you come back to me later? Hey, she got a man though. Hey, she, hey, she got a man though. She got a man. She got a man. Years, man. That doesn't have anything to do with the topic. Like, if wait, so you disagree, but then I'm asking you, why do you disagree? And you said come back to me. Hey, don't worry. Fuck to spit on that thing. Okay. All right. I'll go back one more time. We are doomed. I said that. Men are held accountable more than women. Cool, right? You guys all agree that, right? You guys said if the guy yelled at her like that, he would have been arrested. Jail. Right? Or he would have been stopped. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, okay, like women aren't held to the same accountability, you know, in society as men, but they have all the same rights and privileges, if not more. What are your thoughts on that? And you said no. So how am I wrong about that, in your opinion? Um, Fuck. Dude, (laughs) spit on that thing. (laughs) I just don't understand, like, the question... So why would you say no? Why not just say I didn't understand? Can you repeat that? Or I explain. Don't worry, it's pretty, man. Nigga, go so, home, man. Just, just, go, just, just go home, man. Talk we'll to it. We'll spread that shit. What are, you, what are you even doing here, man? Just talk to it. Nothing's happening at all, man. All right, I will go then. Yo, what the fuck? No, no, he, no he's trolling, man. <laughs> yeah, he's... No, it's okay. 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Oh. Oh, I guess you really hurt her feel. It's great, fresh. Uh, I mean, yeah, hey, yeah, it's what it is, bro. Like, hold on, hold on. To be fair, though, she wasn't saying nothing at all. Was she? Damn. Wait, wait. <laughs> he said, damn. <laughs> wait, oh, hold on. What do you think about that, that scenario, bro? Yeah. What do you think about that? I was just trying to impress her, so now I can just. I, I can just be normal don't think now. it was right because she barely speaks <laughs> English. Damn, so. You can be normal. Never mind. Like, now I can be yeah, normal. Yeah, man. I can yeah, 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 Fucking language barrier, bro. She went to high school in Boca Raton. Yeah, man. Guys. It doesn't matter. Damn. You hear like her she grew accent, up though. Yeah. She, she's got a boyfriend. No, guys. Four there's years. no language barrier. There's just like dumb people. What about that? Like, this is like, you just got a kid call a spade a spade, man. Like, she's just dumb. Like, hey, I saved their match. She went. From... To, she literally went to high school in Boca Raton, one of the whitest areas in Florida, bro. Like, yeah. come on, man. Like, <laughs> okay. Hey, did I mess up your approach, bro? My bad. No, nah, it's good now. I guess, uh, are you single? Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Yo, okay. uh, okay. <laughs> she got really bad. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, too, man. I was even, like, aggressive. I just said, go home, She's man. admiring, so it's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Lucky, proud of you. I guess you she took it seriously. Like, yeah. she, guess she took it seriously. That's funny <laughs> shit, man. Oh, my gosh. She really got bad. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. What do you? Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Can, um, me, can me to shut up. Yeah. Can you repeat the question again? No, I'm uh, just kidding. I'm oh stupid. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Relax, relax. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, what's She's it strong. called? Actually, I forgot the question. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. Knowing that women are not held accountable to the same standards as men as you guys oh, all okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What are your thoughts on that, that women have more rights and privileges than men do in society? I just think it's... I think um, it's fair. What are your thoughts? I don't think it's fair. I just think it's like now, like the era that we live in and like all the new um, laws and everything that has happened like throughout all the decades and stuff. They wanted to make everything more equal, but it's not really equal. You think that's good that we made things equal? Yes, I do think it's good, but I don't think it's fair. It's good for me because I'm a girl, but but it's not. I don't think it's a good thing because it's still not fair. For okay. example, like literally the video that we were just watching, if it was a man screaming, he would have gotten arrested. Interesting. So. Yeah. All right, what about you? What are your thoughts on, on that? Well, I think that um, it's not fair. And it's also like when you bring almost half of the population to be able to vote, and those people, you know, when they passed that law, they were at home, so they were able to, you know, push a lot of propaganda through the TV and stuff like that, and then get the women to vote in a more like emotional way. And Do you think that women should has vote? been, huh? Do you think women should vote? Um. Well, I guess now things are more different because we have a lot of education and a lot of things available on the internet. But from the all of those decisions and like women go, c coming to work, like it has really destroyed the family. So you, you know, think women in, should vote? Yes or no? Yes. You think they should vote? Yes. Okay, women well, should think they should vote. Well, now with the amount of education and uh, information that we have available, mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of also males that don't because it's a it's a matter of personal choice. So even if you go to college, there's still a lot of people that are not educated. You know, yeah. from from years of like both genders having access to information and education. And there's still a lot of people that are like culturally uneducated mm -hmm. and like both of them still have the right to vote. So I think that now because women have been coming more into the workforce, um, obviously it would take because I know that men have to enlist in order for them like they have to enlist. But women don't. Yeah. Like that part. For me, that's kind of unfair because then one party least that's precisely needs why you to shouldn't die vote. and the other one can that's vote and like not vote. die. That's why you guys shouldn't vote, in my opinion. Why? Because you guys don't have any skin in the game. You just admitted it right now. Men have to go into selective service when they don't. If you get drafted, you mean? Like that? Yeah, or? Yeah. like okay. women aren't, aren't, dra aren't drafted. Don't get drafted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I don't think that's why I, I, I don't... I mean... Uh, go to Rubble. Uh, I'll just uh, yeah. tell him. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because I mean, because we're on YouTube, so a question: Who would you vote for? Yeah, right, that's a good question. On this, on the coming one. This election, yeah. Yeah, who are you gonna vote for after we get yeah, this? Yeah, no election. Trump. I would vote for Trump. Okay, okay, so Republican, not Democrat. Yeah. Okay. All right, what about you? Who are you voting for? Where's Who Who'd you vote for? President-wise. Yeah. I think Trump, because he's gonna give me my GI Bill benefits back. So. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Trump. I think if Biden wins, our economy is going to go to shit. Mm. What about you? Biden. 
Okay. I knew it. I, bro. Okay. Black woman, bro. What do you expect? Wait, I was saying, you? I was in. Who you vote for? Shake Shack today. Oh no, I mean she came a vote. Yeah, you're an Israeli citizen, right? <laughs> you're American citizenship too, they, or no? They love my country, so I don't care. I love both of them. Why'd you leave then? Yeah, they love it. Huh? I said I don't care because they love my country. Yeah, so then why'd you leave? Why I leave? Because I don't like my country. Because <laughs> she don't like her country. <laughs> Wait, oh, you love, wait, so you love your country, but you don't like your country? No, I mean, she said they love her country. They love they. my country. Biden and Trump they l- love her country. They support my country. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. They, they come oh, visit see, the Israel. She even knows. Holy. Can't, she even knows. Can't make it up. Who oh, runs boy. America, man? Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Can I, who are you voting for, bro? Wait, hey, bro, I don't know, bro. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, did the Haitian girl say she was voting for Biden? Yeah. Yes. The Haitian girl did you say that. You should know better. What? <laughs> Why do you say that, Mo? That's one of the biggest reasons why we're in this situation right now. Wh- who's speaking? Uh, Mo. Me. He's Haitian, too. D- one of the he, reasons why we're in this situation? Yeah, what situation? Biden's one of the biggest reasons. He was one in charge of the Red Cross oh, Foundation yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. that destabilized Haiti. You did did your cousins come in through Biden, though? What? Did I come through? Did, did your I? cousins, your, your family members, come in through Biden? Oh, no, shit. No, no, we, no, they came, they have, came through they Did came you through have any Bush. family members they that came in through? They came through George H.W. Bush. Ooh. Which is even worse because George H. W. Bush stole way more money. Legally, my my people ain't swim here. No, I didn't say they swim here. Biden allowed for Haitians and certain people to come to America. You're defending someone who's recently responsible for this destabilization of Haiti. Regardless, I'm I'm not gonna vote for Trump. So, no, there's that. But why though? I just prefer not to. I don't. I didn't like how it was when he was in office. What specific? Like to be specific, which one? Which part? What I think he's. I think. I think he's a great businessman, but I don't think he should be a dictator to the United States. I think that it it fueled a lot of um, anger and hate and div- division. So Biden's better. I wouldn't say he's better. It's just not Trump. So anybody but Trump. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why women should vote. Yeah, who but, and uh, and, uh, and not to be an asshole. The majority of women here said they're Trump. only picking Trump because it's cool right now. Yeah. Um, it, oh, okay. It, yeah. Like, like <laughs> so who are you t- picking? I'm gonna go with Trump, but I mean, I, because I, it's cool right now. No, I've been a Trump supporter since 2016, mm-hmm. since when it wasn't cool to support him at yeah. all. Oh, okay. B- but uh, but yeah, I mean, my thing is like with women, you guys tend to go with like you know what's cool and stuff like that. I, I mean, if I'm gonna be all the way a thousand, I think men need to be leadership leadership roles in relationships. I think <laughs> what you said about a man telling you how to dress, I think men need to tr- tell women how to dress, because quite frankly, women, you guys fuck everything up. If I'm gonna be honest, um, you guys suck at almost everything. Um, men are better than women at almost everything. Men are smarter, stronger, mm. better at building things. Hold on, I'll, I'll give you a chance to re- okay. re- to respond. Um, and I think men need to be the leaders of society. If we don't lead the society, you guys lead the society into a fucking downfall. There's a reason why women want men that are better than the men in every regard. So what the hell do I look like as a man? You know, making money, being successful, going to the gym, taking care of myself, being stronger than you. But then like you tell me, well, I'm gonna wear what I want. That's crazy to me. Like I look at that like, well, I'm the protector and provider. So if I'm responsible for you, remember that authority that we talked about and responsibility? Like if I'm responsible for you, I need to have authority over you too to protect you. That's why if he was to yell at the girl, they would arrest him immediately. But if the girl yells at him, nobody cares. You guys noticed the men came up to him in the video to ask him a question. Right away. They didn't go to her. Why is that? Because everybody knows that no one wants to talk to an erratic, emotional woman. So that's what it is. Does anyone have anything? I'll turn it to you if anybody disagrees. Don't, don't be quiet now. Yeah, nigga. go ahead. Yeah, well, yeah. You, some of you were trying don't, to interrupt me. So go ahead. Now. Yeah, what do you got to say? I just think that women are better at sure. some things. What are they better at? Tell me. Like Something. being nurturing. That's it. I'm Fantastic. a very nurturing person. That's okay, things it. that actually matter to society. What are women better yeah. at? Yeah. Okay, but like things that matter in the family. Like if you're trying to raise a family. All right, that's cool. Yeah. But that's all I got to say. That's that. But I mean, men are still better at almost everything that like actually has real consequence. I mean, okay. raising children is important, of course, but single fathers do better than single mothers. Statistically speaking, I can't say no to that. I'm not gonna single lie. fathers are what they do better than st- single mothers, statistically speaking. Okay, so why are we comparing them to? Well, I'm saying, question. I'm saying that to substantiate the fact that men need to be in leadership roles in almost everything for things to work. Women and, are sucky leaders at everything, and that's fine. And they are in majority of leadership roles already. Not so. really. 
What women besides Kamala Harris? That's I mean, she's the vice president of the United States. She's okay. the second so sh- strongest person. Should she not be in that position? No, women should never be in leadership roles. Did she mess up in any way? To, to, she to sucked make a bunch her... of dick to get to her position. <laughs> okay, but she got there. And then what'd she do from there? Wait a minute. That, 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 that means that she didn't get to where she's supposed to be through meritocracy. Well, do you have proof that she sucked dick to get where she got yes, to? Yes, she was a failed prosecutor in California. And she rose to the top by sucking D and being a, th- a third wheel with uh, Montel Williams. Okay, well then, once she got to her position, this she did other things. This is how we do it. Past okay. that, like that, that doesn't. I mean, Kim Kardashian did a lot to get to her position. What did she do afterwards? Yeah, that that, that proves my point that women's real only agency is sexuality. But that's prior to her getting to her position, though. When yeah, she got she in use... office, what did she do? Nothing. She hasn't done anything since she. We have one. Of, this is probably one of the worst presidential. Um, uh, presidential uh, teams that I've, God damn, um, God damn it, administrations I've ever seen. Okay. And and like that's crazy. Like how are you like okay? So if someone gets to the top through sucking dick and being a whore, that invalidates their entire process because she didn't do it through meritocracy. So then what about Trump and the porn star and all the other things and the fel the felon felony thing like. Does he uh, did a lot of things to get before he got to where he is. Okay, number one, he had sex with that girl back in like 2006 before he was running for president. Which still counted because he did that before he got there. Kamala did all those things before she got into okay, office, Okay, here's right? the difference. He didn't have to fuck her to get into office. So she had to suck all those dicks to get into office, is yes. what you're saying? Which dicks? Because we know which Stormy. Stormy, she had sex with Trump, right? Yeah, but but that, which dicks did she... Okay, so here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Trump would be president whether or not he had sex with Stormy Daniels. However, Kamala would not be vice president if she didn't have sex with individuals to rise to the top. There's a big difference. It's not the same. Technically, that's not a proven fact because we don't know what dicks she sucked to get to the top. Do you know? It's pretty well known in the White House and all throughout. That's why no one respects her. That's why her approval ratings are so low is because everyone knows that she slept her way to the top. Oh, okay. Well, I, that, wasn't, that wasn't common knowledge to me, so I, not everyone. So you're talking about something that you're not knowledgeable about well i know for sure that she got there from her accolades and the things that she did to accomplish where she is now she didn't have to suck dick to get there she got there to do sexuality i want to say something to you but and he also picked there to get the black vote which is how they got you which is okay that's fine they lied to you man. they lied to you that's what we're trying to say i'm sure trump is lying to me too is what i'm saying yeah i mean no politician is is an angel but i mean you just got to go with the better of the two evils and my whole point here was just remember this all started with me saying women shouldn't be in leadership roles okay that's the perspective i don't agree okay name one matriarchy that stood the test of time um cleopatra (laughs) okay what are you gonna say um, I'm not talking again about what he said. You said like um, the the woman not respect you about the clothes, right? What yes. is she wearing? You think if she not yelling at you, if she not lie to you, she not respect you, she respect you, right? Yeah, I mean, like I can tell you right now from looking at that video that that dude is poor. What? So the dude that got yelled at in that yeah. video, he's poor, guaranteed. Yeah, okay, but I'm not talking about the video. I'm talking about you said if you have a girl, a wife, and she not listen to you about the clothes. Yeah, he's probably so poor. So she not she not respect you. Yes. I think I can respect you in other ways. This is nothing. It's clothes, but it's not. I it mean about me myself. It's only clothes then. If so why not just wear sweatpants? Clothes. Why not just wear sweatpants and go outside if it's just clothes? Because it's what I like to wear in. But I respect you because I'm. Question for you: Do you wear that dress when you go to sleep? No, because what do you, I'll... Wear, what do you wear to sleep? Pajamas, something yeah. comfortable, right? Okay. Right? And, and... Okay, wear the pajamas outside then. I don't want to. I want to... Why not? Why? Why not? It's just clothes. Yeah. It's just clothes. Okay, but I want to be pretty. I want to feel pretty for myself. If I'm wearing dress and do makeup, it's not for... I want all the guys look at me. It's because it makes me feel pretty. You wear clothes, man. It's make me feel pretty. Yo, put our Instagram, bro. Okay, that's number one. Number two, if I'm... If oh, I'm yeah, okay. loyal to you, if I'm not lying, if I'm not bitch, so I respect my men. It's not matter what I'm wearing. I respect you. If you go in the street together, I'm right. just like you. Let like me ask this, you a question. Let's say I respect um, you. Okay. Let, let's say you're. Um, what I'm let's say let's say uh, you save up a uh, hundred thousand dollars, right? Okay. And you go buy a brand new Mercedes that you've been wanting to buy. G wagon. Right? What's your dream car? My dream car. Yes. What is your dream car? Yes. <laughs> Damn. I don't know the name of, but. Maybe you can have some Jeep, G-Wagon, G-Wagon, Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. 
I brought this. The, the Jeep, yeah. yeah. No, just a Jeep wagon. Just What's a someone Jeep else's? Wagon? What is it? It's Brabant, some Jeep. Brabant is for men. Right. It's some uh, like small Jeep, but tall. All right, yeah, it's ready? a G wagon. Or someone else's car. Not yet. Hold on. This hold is on. My dream okay. Car. So you a, a G wagon? Yeah. Okay. So that's like quarter million dollars, right? Two hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Let's say you save up the money and you buy it, cash. Okay. You go and you buy it at the store, right? Mm. You buy it. You take it home. You're happy. You drive it around. Oh my God! You're so excited. Okay. Two weeks later, the person that sold you the car says, "Hey, look, I know you bought the car and you own it, but." We got to put it for sale sign on it, and we got to borrow it every now and then and put it on the showroom floor. What would you say to him? Uh, it's like an accent or something, <laughs> or what? Yeah, he wants to borrow, He needs to borrow the car once a week. He needs to put it for sale sign on it, and he needs to bring it to the showroom floor and show it off still. What would you say to that after you paid for it cash? I get mad about this. But you would get mad? Yeah. Oh, okay. But... Would you buy the car knowing that he, uh, that he would do that? No. You wouldn't, right? So why should a guy commit to you and take you seriously if you're not going to listen to him and show your body off? I think, okay, of course I'm listening, but I think, let, let me explain myself, let me explain myself. If it's, okay, for example, this specific dress he don't like, mm. I'm going to listen, but he cannot decide about my everything, all okay, my clothes. Okay, he comes to you and he uses a I pink sign instead of a white sign I then. I can say, okay, I don't like your shirt and you can change it for me. But if I all the time say it, it's like I'm trying to change you. I'm trying to make you be something else. So if I don't like your outfit, I don't like your style, so I'm not dating with you. Okay, what if the, the what, if, what if the guy comes to your house and he gives you a sign that's pink and says, for viewing? So if I don't... Would you still get mad? No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that if from the start I don't like, if from the start I don't like who is he, Okay, if I, if, if I want to change him, so I don't like him, I don't love him if I'm trying to change him. I'm trying to make him be someone else, you understand? Yeah, if but, I don't like your style, so I'm not going to you. But you're a woman, you can't change the man. The man's job is to change you and make you a better so woman. So if you're trying to change me, so it's not good for me because I know who I am. I don't need no one change no, me. No, women need leadership. With, without a man, you guys are fucking stupid. I'm going to be honest. I don't think L no one needs to change me. Hold on, hold on. A woman without instruction is headed for destruction. You guys constantly do stupid shit Asagami. and fuck yourselves up. You be whores, you drink alcohol, you hang out with a bunch of dudes. This is why fathers are important. This is why your brother is okay. important. This is what your man's job is supposed okay. to do, to protect your value. Of course. So, so the thing is, is that the man is supposed to come in and protect you and provide for you and be the leader. So if I tell you to do something and you sit there and say, nah, or you argue with me, well, then fuck you. You're single then. No, it's not that important. If what? I'm drunk, drink a lot, for example, so you take care of me, okay. But you're just trying to change me. Yes. It's different. Yes, because women are stupid and this they need is, help. No, this is not something bad. If I'm wearing this, it's not something okay, bad. But look, if I'm look. drinking too much, of course it's look, something bad. Young women do stupid shit and they need guidance. You guys act like whores. You drink alcohol. You party. You do dumb shit all the time. It's a man's job okay. to protect you from yourself. I'm agreeing that, but I'm not agree that he needs to change me. He can do better things for me, yeah. He can say it's not good for you. I think you need to do something else, yes. Okay, let me yes. just say it. If you had a man, you wouldn't be on fucking OnlyFans right now, okay? What you don't realize is that by you being on OnlyFans, you've literally hurt yourself in the future for finding a man to take you seriously and wanting to wife you up, okay? You've hurt your ability to find a higher status, attractive man. If you had a man, he would have told you, you know what? That isn't a loser, by the way. It's probably not a good idea to put your body all over the internet in front okay. of everybody. I want You're my wife. I love you. I want okay. you to share this with just me. So... See, see, this is what I mean when I say women don't have, um, when they don't have a man, they don't have guidance and they do dumb shit. That's what I'm trying to say. If you had a guy that cared about you, you wouldn't be on OnlyFans right now. Of, of course, if I had a boyfriend and he told me it's not respect me, their wife, I would stop with this. But it's different things. Again, it's what I'm wearing and what I'm doing for a living. It's different things. It's the same thing. No, it's not. Showing your body on the internet no, and then not. showing your body in real life are two different things. No, is, I mean, sorry, it's the same thing. No, it's not. Wearing dress is showing my body. It's just yes. dress. No, it's not. It's dress. I mean, barely. It's simple. See, this is what I mean when I say, like, women need it's leadership. It's two different things. You guys need me. instruction. It's like, two th this mindset me. right here, like, do you think a guy that has money and is attractive is going to sit here and argue with you about this? No. Exactly. Okay. But I think it's two different things man, that I'm doing for a living. And what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man. Scroll down, Bills, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Come on, man. You think Daddy. a guy... Is that Photoshop? No, it's not. Well, where do you see Photoshop? Nigga, that ass is not real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, nigga, this scroll, shit ain't mapping, nigga. Down, man. <laughs> that is not... That's not Photoshop, nigga. Bro. No, it's Photoshop? It's no, it's not. No? No. 
Alright, there you go. Uh, what, what's wrong with your back? You keep bend, bending over. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with your back? <laughs> keep bending over. I just know how to make people. Alright, so my uh, do you think she will get a husband anytime soon? Look, if I, I, I see Instagram like this, I'm thinking in my head, slut. Yo, Kano, what'd you hit? Like, this is. What'd you hit, bro? Okay. What do you think when you see my Yo, face? Kano. Oh, wow. A bunch of niggas huh? in here, bro. Kano, what do you oh think, bro? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay and okay and can I you go hit or what, bro? Shalom. Like, what do you mean, like? <laughs> okay and like, like fuck, man. Like oh, <laughs> no, nah, I take on a date first. You know, I'm okay, I'm, a, I'm a okay, gentleman. You know, okay. love that. You know, and and spend what uh like one k, two k. You cannot judge someone Maybe because McDonald's. it's close. Oh, you need to meet the person and see who is he. Like, you cannot judge. He said I'm he, never judge. He, he said he'll take you on, on a date. That's cool. Yeah. Trying to go one after this? Mm. When? Mm. Tomorrow. This. Tomorrow, okay. Mm. You gonna let him smash? Pick me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pick you up? You don't got a car? <laughs> here, no. Here, In no? Israel. Oh, okay. No, here. Okay, that was, uh, <laughs> my culture. Bro, bro. My space. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was very culture. Oh. Uh, it's all right, man. That's fine, man. That's all good. Like, man, just show the pictures, man. Yo, nah, I mean, uh, bro, what do, you, what do you expect? I mean, it's bad, bro. Come on, man. It's like the worst, bro. Yo, like, okay. Okay. like any guy's going to look at that Come and be on. like, they're, be honest, yeah. though. Is, is there any Photoshop in those photos? Is Mari holding back? No. Even like a little bit, face out, no. face tune. I'm just know how to take pictures. That's it. Man, mm -hmm. and I'm sober, man. Yo, nigga, Chris, you got back problems, bro. She just arches all the time. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, I was arching. Well, fresh nose, man. Wait, what? I know what. I mean, the, anyhow. Those busty girls, man. What, Chris? What? Those busty girls, you know? Girls who are busty. <laughs> like, thick. Hey, yes. man. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Canal. What, yeah. what, what do you look for in a girl, bro? Like, for example, to go date or just like long term? Or what are your thoughts on this panel and this discussion? Whatever you want to. Uh, I'll start with this panel. Okay. Um. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, we go back to YouTube. Yeah, honestly, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, y'all, y'all kind of changing my views a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's I've been I've been like, you know, not thinking as like a real man. So, um, I think it's good. I think it's a good panel. I think uh, both arguments are totally different for each side. You know, girls see things differently, guys see things differently. Um, but, I mean, Myron, I mean, I feel like you holding back a little bit, bro. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm. I don't want to, you know, go too soon here and, you know, hurt their feelings and shit. But I, I mean, I just wanted to hear your take. I wanted you to say what you want to say. I mean, it, it, we're back on Rumble. No, no. YouTube. Oh, OK. Um, no, I mean, it just goes back to the whole thing. I just think men need to be in leadership roles all the time, because the, the more conversations I have with women, the more I'm just like, holy crap, like men really need to be leaders, because like. If not, you're fucking doomed. It's like, where are the men? Like, that guy, for example, that was getting yelled at? Yeah. Like, his girl runs the relationship. He's a brokey. I already know, because women don't yell at rich dudes like that. And no. if they do, that dude, if he has some They're time, gone. they walk away, they leave. Um, and he's he, she doesn't respect him. You so, know what I mean? So, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. If you were in the airport and that yeah. happened to you, <laughs> yeah, what you doing? <laughs> I knew he was going to ask that. Great question. <laughs> that girl's single, bro. Like, like immediately. A, I'm not going to yell back in, A year in. You know, she's single, just off like that. Hundred percent, man. This is because uh, my thing is, uh, this is why I'm not monogamous. Women behave and get in line when you have other women. Mm. What would you do? Me? Yeah, that no. wouldn't happen. No, what if it did happen? I know that's right. A year in. If that happened, a year in, yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, I agree with him, but like, it just wouldn't happen because yeah. you know, I kind of set like the tone like when I'm in a relationship, like this is what we both have boundaries. Mm -hmm. and if that happened, you know. And it's over, yeah. but just get it, up and walk it, away. it wouldn't happen though, you know. I feel like if that happened, you didn't set the tone, and like you know, girl doesn't respect you to like you know. What if you were the problem. what if what if she yells like that in private? <sighs> it still wouldn't happen. I, I don't right, think like, it was what about y'all? It, it still wouldn't happen. Ooh, I know that's Are we right. on Rumble? <laughs> yeah, like no. what would, no, would y'all say? Too. All right, like it, 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 look, man. It, if a girl, I don't even let women talk back to me, to be honest with you. Really? Like, yeah, I don't even fucking let them talk back to me. I'm like, this is what it is. Misogyny. Well, uh, uh, shut up. And then they got to decide right then and there what it is. And then, like, I don't. Are we on Rumble? You want us to go? Yeah, yeah, go, yeah go to Rumble. Yeah. Let's go, go to Rumble. We'll do. Like, I, I don't even tolerate women talking back to me, to be honest with you. Because as the leader, I can't have you sitting there nagging and trying to tell me that your opinion matters. Like, no. Like, women are, are we good on Rumble? 
Yes. Women are inferior to men in almost everything. Have you, have you always? I got a question. Um, have you always had this mindset? Great question. To a degree. To a, uh, I've always had it to a degree, but like now it's. I would say like I'm just like unapologetic about it. Because I've always I, thought that women suck at everything. Because realistically, I, I I think. Do you date women? Yes, multiple. <laughs> okay. Yes. How many? I just said multiple. Oh, okay, so that's just... which is why I will never put you guys in leadership roles because I know women well. Like, look, here's the reality. This is a very uncomfortable truth. You can either other understand women or you can respect them, but you can't do both. I understand y'all, and I know enough that I need to be the fucking leader because if I'm not, it's gonna be chaos. If you guys are ever in a leadership role, I what I say goes. That's what it is because women are emotional, erratic. They do dumb shit like that at the airport. Embarrass you, embarrass themselves, etc. Girl, yell at me like that. I'm just getting up. You're single yeah. now. Fuck out of here. I don't argue yeah. with women. You guys, you guys aren't logically sound in anything you guys do. You guys run off your hormones and your emotions and my period and all this other dumb shit. Like, yeah. no, man, no. Like that's just not how it is. But and the problem yeah. is, let's say you're a guy, you tolerate that behavior. And women love guys like me, by that's the good. way. FYI, oh. I know you're looking like, ooh, gr girls love a guy that can look at them in the face, like this is what we're doing. Well, I don't. Who cares what you think? We're gonna do this. Well, I love that. You're probably projecting because I wasn't thinking that. I'm sure they do love you. You got waves. You look handsome. But outside of all of the other stuff, how do you feel about him? About him? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think you guys would click? Can he smash? No, no, I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think click. so. We would click. No, really? only because he he prefers to have many women. Mm. I don't. Think what happens if he just you know just wanted one girl, settled down, it was you? You think you guys could work out? You like uh, his views? Not necessarily, but, <laughs> you know, this is his platform, so I respect it. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, so. Okay, W Queen. Hold on, hold on. Can he smash, though? Why are you guys going to ask me? Yeah. 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 Oh, behind. Come, um, on, man. come on, man. You're 34. He's handsome. He is handsome. He donates um, to the he's church. He's handsome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six foot tall. I think he would offend me, and I probably would not not be turned on. So He'll offend you in bed. Yeah, what and the then <laughs> he would offend Chris me in bed. Man, yeah, fuck, my, my vagina would just dry up. Hey, Omari, like a horse. Hey, Omari, thanks again for donating <laughs> no, to the I, church. <laughs> Look, I understand how women think, and since I understand what, how women think, I look at it like it's my duty to be the leader, to be the protector and the provider. So. For me to put you in an authority or a leadership role is a disservice to you as a female because you're not capable of doing it. Yeah, when you asked me the question earlier um, about men and women, I said the man is supposed to lead the household. So I actually agree with a man being a leader. So I don't think that that's the argument at all with you leading. So what's the argument then? Um, you They're asking about if I would smash. Oh, yeah. well, no, I meant because you said you like disagree with some of the things like, the oh, you don't like the multiple women thing. That's one thing, yeah. That's what you don't like. I haven't been like keeping tabs on all the things I disagree, but right. it's been do, a lot do internally. You think, do you do you think like a majority of guys want to be monogamous? No, I don't think so. I don't so think that they can that, handle that. Okay, so knowing that, Animal. wouldn't it make sense to kind of like acclimate to like male nature? Mm, I've considered it, but I don't think that it would make sense personally because I haven't, you know, found the monogamous relationship that I think is ideal for me yet. So maybe I'm hopeless. Yeah, you Romantic. Are. Wait, finding yeah. the, you mean the monogamous or the polygamous relationship? Um, I'm telling monogamous. you, most guys don't want to be monogamous. Yeah. Yeah. So if you know that most men don't want to be monogamous, I mean, mm -hmm. hell, even your ex boyfriend just demonstrated yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facts. Well, wh why? Why not just acclimate to what a majority of men want so that you can make yourself a better potential candidate for a man? I think I would rather be single. I would rather just wait. You'd rather and, be single. And, yeah. No wait. kids, no husband, nothing. No, I would rather just wait for that. Wait for I, I don't think that. First of all, I'm not searching. I would like to attract the things that I want. And so I don't think Manifest. that I would. Yeah, I don't think that I would um, try to mold a guy into what I want in particular. I just want to meet somebody. and. Okay, do you think at 34 years old that your chances of finding a guy are still going to be like as high as it were 10 years ago? No, and I'm not finding anybody. I just said I would like to attract somebody. I'm, I don't think that a woman should go looking for a man. I think that the man is supposed to find the woman. Yeah, I, mean, I that's... just learned about manifestation. Right, now I'm gonna get I so mean, much money. But like, think about it. Like, if you haven't found a guy yet and you're 34, I, I'm, right? I'm not looking for one. You I'm... are. Okay, but what I'm trying if to I say. If I haven't attracted a man yet at 34. Yeah, but you do understand that like your chances are dropping off like significantly every year. Okay. Because you're not 24. Yeah, anymore. I understand that. So wouldn't it behoove you to like make some effort and like get out there and like try to meet a guy and lower your standards a bit and maybe not demand monogamy? 
Well, I'm not demanding anything, nor am I settling. So I would just remain neutral. By not settling, you're... Well, you you're said by that definition to demanding. lower something is yeah. to settle. I'm not settling. Okay, so by definition, you have demands. <laughs> I wouldn't be demanding anything either. That's the reason why I'm single. Yeah, if you're not settling, that means you have standards, and you're not. And you're, those are your like essentially your demands. It's like this is what I need. Well, I wouldn't demand those things, but th those are the things that I would want. Yes. Okay, I'm going to be very blunt with you. You're 34 years old. You're black, right? Black women do the worst on dating apps, and in general, they're the least desired race by men. This is statistically speaking. This okay. isn't me just talking shit, right? Um, if you do find a guy that's attractive and tall or makes money or whatever, he's going to want other women. Yep. So, I mean, and you're 34. So you don't have the same ability Damn. to compete in a dating marketplace for a higher status man that like a younger woman does. Okay. So I think women need to really have an honest conversation with themselves. What type of man do I qualify for? Not what type of man qualifies for me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Girls need to really have this conversation with themselves. Like for you, for example, right? You do OnlyFans. Sorry, only dudes that are going to fuck with you are rappers and celebrities and they're just going to have sex with you and never take you seriously. Like, no. the, like women need to really understand. But I'm not... Fucking in the only fans, I'm just make content. I understand that, but like, you, you do understand that, like. I understand what you're saying. Yes, like majority of men are not gonna take you seriously. Yeah. Ever. Okay. Like not. not by your Instagram, by being on OnlyFans, yeah. like they're just not. Instagram is different things about the OnlyFans. OnlyFans is not something that I wanna do forever. I'm doing it for now because I'm just move here. No, I get that. But. Instagram, I think it's your problem. Not all the men like you. <sighs> well, uh, how about yeah. your lips? Okay, you you Ooh. do understand that you're you're understand. like a man looks at your Instagram right and he he assumes things right. Okay. Right. I mean, you go on a guy like if you go on a dating app, right? You're gonna look at a guy's pictures. You're gonna assume things. Okay. Right. Like yeah, we, but we not judge all, all the time. Us, I know, but not all of us, not all, all of us think mm. the same. Okay, you can think I'm whore because my clothes. Okay. And lips. But you you know if I fuck every day. If no, you know something about me. No. You so you cannot. Every day. You cannot. No, I'm not. You cannot know nothing about me. It's just clothes. It's outside. Okay? And those nails, Okay, so you don't think men judge women when they look at them? I think. But not all of us. Everyone think the same. That's you think whore? That's that, not mean that he doesn't and defeat he the argument. Thing. Okay, if I line up 100 guys. See, this is why women need to, like, understand how men think. If I line up 100 guys and they looked at your Instagram, they would... 90 of, 95 of them are going to think you're a whore. And maybe some, and you're not only some too. of them. So 99 some of them are going to think you're a whore. No, maybe some of them think they, she have good style. She know how to take pictures. <laughs> yeah. and and maybe you, you are true a whore. best for a living on Instagram. Maybe, Come on, man. Okay, and what? And what? Yeah, fresh. Fresh. So Hold on. what? Hold on. Fresh. You are what a does good that mean? woman serving the Lord. It's mean I'm Would not you arch your back like that on your Instagram? No, I don't upload pictures like that. No. But why not? What? Hey, why not? Because. No, 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 you can do whatever you want. Look, 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 no, no, Miss no. Israel, no one's calling you a whore. No one's saying anything. Okay. I'm telling you that okay. when an average guy looks at your Instagram, they're going to think you're a whore. Okay, That's not what I'm telling you. Them. Huh? Not all of them. The 99 of them are going to think that. If they want to touch like that, it's their problem, not mine, because they're not trying to meet me and then they're not trying mean, to know me. I mean, that's the chat. Hold on, Canel, okay. is she a whore? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> What is with these soundboards, bro? <laughs> Who's doing the soundboards? <laughs> them in the back. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's in the back. <laughs> um, no comment, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I just don't think she understands. Like, like no one's calling you a whore. I'm just telling you, you have a whore's uniform. That's all. So, okay. um, and then for you, like, 34 years old, man, like woman. Next, can you go to her? What was that? I'm a woman. What? You what? said 34 years old, man. No, like, man, like, he, like, oh, no, 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 he didn't call you that. No. Okay. I didn't call you a 34 year old man. Right. As a 34 years old man, like, you yeah, need like a man. Uh, comma, yeah. man. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. My bad. Like, what I'm saying is that you, you need to, like, I think you need to lower your standards a bit. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, because be honest with you, like, him telling you this is, like, nice because most guys will never, never tell you this ever, and they'll just fuck you and then leave you. So, yeah, like the fucking drug dealer you're worth. Yeah. You think yeah. he was going to ever take you seriously? No. Nope. Um. The answer is no. A profound no. If you had the fucking gall to hit up your friend that does your hair and shit, he was never going to take you seriously. Yeah. And this is why you need and a man's perspective. that's the reason why that didn't Hold last on, that long. This is why you need a man's perspective. Because women are stupid. You guys don't understand certain things. Like, th something can hit you in the face. Like, oh shit, this is happening to me. But you guys are, like, so in your emotions or you're, and you're invested in the guy. And you guys, like, don't see what the hell's going on. Like, right now, she's in her feelings. Even though I'm being very honest with her. 
A man of value that has anything to lose is never going to take her seriously and wife her up because it's embarrassing. Just like you, 34 years old, your options with men is completely dried out. It's an L. Like, and how old are you? You got, I'm 34 and, as well. And how many options with women do you have? A lot more than you do, trust yeah, me. Yeah, a lot more. Okay, because I'm a, not looking at women. A 34-year-old man is not the same as a 34-year-old <laughs> woman at okay. all. Well, I mean, you're comparing men to women, so I just wanted to ask. We're completely different. We, we, we're completely different now, but we were equal, and we had equal rights 10 minutes ago, Boy. right? No. No, actually, I was talking about how women have, <laughs> they have more rights and privileges, even though they have less authority. That was the argument I was making. Okay. So... But yes, on paper, we have the same equal rights, I guess, from a human perspective. You but, guess. But when it comes to dating and sexual market value, a woman that's 34 and a man that's 34 are not the same at all. Okay. Like men gain value as they age, women lose value as they age. All Assuming right. the man does the work. Okay. Because the things that make us attractive take time to acquire. The things that make you guys attractive, you're born with it. Could you imagine what if... Does, what takes time to acquire for a man? Status, that you're not already money, born well, with. respect. Some like, men are already born. Skills. Who? Oh. It takes time. Okay, for example, do you think, let, let's take her. Let's, take, I took, let's say I took an Israeli guy that's 23 years old from Tel Aviv, right, uh, with a high school education, right? And he opened up OnlyFans. Do you think he would make as much money as her? Keep it real. A man? Yes. A no. man. Point yeah. three. The answer is no, right? Mm -mm. Why? Uh, because he's a man. He has a penis. There's penis everywhere. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah. so he has to add value in other ways, correct? He's not able to use his body to make money like that? Depending on how he look, maybe. No, he won't. So it, it, you're, you're correct in your assessment. Yeah, he would have to like go out there and earn money, earn some status, etc., and be able to get some respect and make money. Women, however, she's 23 years old. She's still young. She can go ahead because she's born with her value. Women are born with their value. That's why she's able to make an Instagram, open up OnlyFans and make some money coming here brand new, two months in. Why? A man would never be able to do that because women are born with their value, and that value is sexuality. Okay, so no men are born with sexuality. Is that what you're saying? Women don't look for men from a sexual standpoint like men look for in women. Okay, according to which women? Because I know a lot of women that look at men sexually, you know? Yeah, but the thing is, is that, yes, looks do matter for a man, but there's a bunch of other things that can make up for it. Okay. Like a man can be ugly, but still go ahead and be attractive to women in other ways. Yeah, for Chris. But if a woman's ugly, <laughs> she's pretty much fucked. Chris. Because women's fresh, main value on, is their Lambo. looks. Okay. Come on, Lambo Fresh. And, and the thing is, is that your looks are intimately tied to your youth. I mean, if you look, she, you're not, who's the esthetician here? Someone was an esthetician. She's gone. Well, she, she, oh, she was yeah. a retard. She, 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 she went home. home. Okay, well, she the retard's she gone. She went home. Uh, but yeah, she was a retard. <laughs> my friend. My <laughs> fucking retard. But anyway, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, there you go. Boom, she's an esthetician. So what does that tell you? You guys saw that she couldn't answer simple questions, etc. She's stupid. But why was she able to get by in life? Because she's attractive. And she's an esthetician. That's her business. Women understand that being an esthetician, aesthetics is their predominant agency. Is she always like that? You're... No, she's not. She was just nervous. No, dude, she's dumb. <laughs> she's like, come on, man. Yep. Okay. Come on, man. We got to go back to just yeah. tell people they're stupid, bro. <laughs> yeah. okay. We just got to go back to tell people when they say dumb shit. They're... Did she say anything when she left? To you? Oh, I didn't. Uh -huh. Hey, Canelo. No comprehension skills. I'm not like... like, she asked the question. Like, <laughs> and here's the times. thing. I know Boca Raton is a very good school district. Yeah. That's how I know she's a retard. <laughs> she's fine. She can speak and uh, articulate herself. You gotta have some money to go and live in Boca Raton. I know. I look at real estate there all the time. That's why I'm like, uh, you're an idiot. Because they have one of the best school districts in the fucking state. Well, she went home. Oh. Well, at least she followed the You made her feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> damn, fresh. I wasn't trying to, but goddamn, okay. The girl's home, fresh, and then girl's like, fresh, like, yo, you leave, man. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm like, damn, fresh. Hey, well, hold on. She don't listen anyway. So I was like, oh, she won't listen I to know, this. Right. Hey, she listen to that part. She listen to that part. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, oh, it's what man. it is, bro. That's right, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, so a 34-year-old man is not the same as a 34-year-old woman. I love it when girls try to equate the two, though. Like, uh, uh, women age like milk, men age like wine. Myron, okay. Myron Boca, that's a far Masagany. drive. Masagany. Huh? That's a far drive you be doing then. Boca? No, I don't I don't go there. Oh. I just know that they got a good school district. I used to go there. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Canel, any questions for, for the ladies at all on the panel? Anything you want to know? I feel like you got me a question. I feel like you got something for me. 
Because you, you said something. Me? Yeah. Or was oh, it, I heard. yeah, that was me. Oh, what was your yeah, question? Yeah, because you're the special guest, so okay. I thought that, you know, we should okay. make you special and ask you questions. Okay. Woo! Hey. Yeah, hey. All right, we can start with so 10 girls, then let them ask. All right. Uh, what's what's your question? Do you guys have any questions Thank for me? God. Um, okay. I'm happy to speak to you, actually. Oh, Thank okay. God. A man with some high IQ. You no, know, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and somebody who actually respects women. Woo! Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um... You've been I'm actually way higher IQ than you, FY. You've been doing YouTube Guaranteed. for how long? Uh, I've been doing this since I was 12, but like taking it seriously was like two, three years ago. So, okay. Yeah. I saw one of your videos before no, I walked in. Locals. Oh, for real? Yeah. You watch the videos? I did. Somebody I showed it. me. Somebody showed me a video, Melissa, I think. Okay. Yeah. Shout out, Melissa. Um, and I thought it was actually really entertaining. Thank you. Yeah, I thought that it, like it wasn't like the rest of the streamers and stuff on YouTube. Like you actually edit stuff and like put like effort into it. Thank you. Like it looked like a avatar or some type of movie. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah so no. shout out to whoever edits your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, Hersey and everybody else. Man, she is so passive aggressive, Engage. man. I see why she's single, man. Holy shit, man. Damn. Why are you so passive aggressive for? Oh, shit. Maybe because we from the same island or something. I don't know. It's but, just in our uh, DNA. But, I mean, just just speak the truth. She's mad about go. the IQ thing. Oh, oh, she no, made man. the IQ thing, so she's No, mad. I'm just being honest. Yeah, that's fine. what I came on here for. Uh, all right. Okay. okay. All right. Well, he's oh, being honest, not... honest with you, so like me. Like, uh, yeah, we're all being honest with yeah, each other. Yeah, so you like me? I think you're cool. Okay. A lot. Thank you. Thank you. A lot. Okay. Right. Mm. Anybody right. else got any other questions mm. for me? All right, W. We, we got some check questions here from the actual girls Did as well. Anyone have anything? They're also pissed off from what I said before. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a fuck though. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. Because this is one of the few times like men are telling women the truth. Like, this is this is what it is. Could yeah. you imagine How dare if every you? guy told the girl the truth? Bro, no, I agree. Uh, I agree with everything. No one was that smashed. Yeah, 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 no one was smashed. Oh, the re the off, reason man. why no one tells women they're stupid is because they want to have sex with them. But yeah. most of you guys are fucking stupid. I'm being very, very honest. Like I like I'd be fucking if we had women running the world, we'd be in the dark ages still. They don't invent invent anything. They don't create nothing. And I, I, I would argue we're the men helping women move forward as well, too, so. Oh, why do I men just... ghost women? <laughs> oh, we don't know why. Oh, yeah, we know why. why <laughs> you want to, who else to answer that one? I'll turn it to you guys. I've said a lot. Canel. I'll why do you guys men go ghost, ghost women? Yeah, ghost, yeah. Uh, maybe because they're talking to somebody else, just quite frankly. You know, the only time I would ghost is probably, like, if I wasn't interested in her. But that's the only reason why a guy would ghost a girl. They have some other options. I don't think anything else Somebody was ghosted here on the panel. Uh, who was that? Was that on the right? Oh, her? Right. You. I didn't you. ask that question though. Oh, you didn't. Oh. No. How did it feel when he ghosted you? It still hurts. W man's. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that question? Why? Why do you think? Why do you think guys uh, ghost women? Oh, well, this, I mean, it, it could be for okay. a number of reasons, Don't. but typically speaking, it's because the guy has other mm -mm. options. Don't and get it, emotional. It's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it's not. Bro, what? what, what? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, what are you yeah. doing, bro? Come on, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Are we? Bro. Are we done? She'll be back. Bro, She'll be back. No, she won't be back. Yeah, she will. Bro, she's Ryan, upset. Bro. bro. She is upset. Please clip Yo, this. What's going on, bro? Please get him off the platform. I'm so nice. I just want to talk about bro. I'm so nice. What's going on right now? Flash, what's going on? Touching subject. That was rude. You know what's crazy? I thought my room's gonna be the one doing this. Like, what man, the? you're just. I don't know, bro. Yeah, Fresh is over here. I'm oh, not. Uh, this God is like, damn, Fresh, man. Fresh, what you doing, bro? bro, what's going fresh, on? Man? What are you doing, doing bro? That's so weird. I didn't That's, do anything. Seriously. I'm just kidding. Like, um, I'm, no, no, but I'm I didn't know that touch your bird, though. I didn't know you're gonna leave. Um, no, but I'm over it. Over what? We didn't do nothing. Oh, back and bad. Oh, she's back. Y'all, we didn't do nothing. No, y'all didn't. Y'all really didn't. <laughs> oh my god, man. Yeah. Girl, didn't I? Listen, listen. I don't know what's happening tonight, but like, whatever I'm doing, man, like. No, man, it's not you. Being... I promise you, it's not you. At least not for me. Okay. I'm good. You're good. It's you. For me. It's me? Yeah. Why? Are you Haitian? No. Nah. Oh, okay. Bar Barbadian. I heard, heard Sak Passe earlier. I was just trying to. Bro, I was dumb, bro. I was trying to chime in. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah. what I said. Wanted to be inclusive. Wait, wait, but like, but like, inclusive. why is it me, though? I mean, you've, they... been, you've been provoking emotions. Switch How? to locals, nigga. How? Guys, come on over to locals. <laughs> well, hold on. He clipped for me? No, yeah, switching How over. have I been come on over to locals? by just making statements that are, like, general? Uh, in a nice, nasty way, people have been offended slightly. Did I offend you? No, you haven't. Mm. Okay. Did, did I offend you? No. 
Did I offend you? No, not personally. Did I offend you? Did I offend you? A little bit. Damn yeah. it. A little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. My bad, bro. That's what's that? Uh, go ahead. Why do girls? Why do ghosting? Go ahead. So and answer. yeah, uh, ghosting can occur for a couple of reasons from guys, but the main thing is going to be he has other girls in his rotation that are more important than you, so he goes to you, or you're so annoying that he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna ghost her and not say anything. Well, so. they come back. Or Ooh. the only way they come back is if they want to smash. Or yeah, they always come back and then it. And again. then they leave again. <laughs> or yeah. um, he fucked you after you was pain in the ass, so he's like, fuck, I finally got your ass. And when he fucked you, he left because you were such a pain in the ass to keep around. That is also another reason to why. Like, you were hard to get to, to smash. You were hard to get, and then once he fucked, he was out. It happens too. But I think for your uh, scenario here with the boyfriend, I think, um, like you said, he was cheating, so there's other elements there that might play into that. Less, less of a headache. Not really, like, bothering him. Man, don't be a bitch. Bro, you're just annoying. That's why he left you. Yeah. Whenever a dude leaves Probably. a girl, you're being fucking annoying. Yeah, that, no, like yeah. men, men rarely leave women. Rarely. Like so, if you if a dude leaves you, it's one of two things: either he thinks you're a whore and you cheat on him, or you're annoying as fuck and he yeah. can't take it. Or you're annoying, yeah. It's one of the two. And then, like, if you're annoying, there's like no going back, huh? You annoyed him That's too much. It. You're you're done, huh? Yeah, you're pretty. Well, I mean, you when you guys were on and off for a while, right? Not you guys on and like? off. We just we broke up once. All right, so you guys were on and off. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're being annoying. Did he break up with you the second, the first time? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're Ooh, being yeah. Annoying, bro. yeah. yeah. Bro, no, you, I wasn't being. I don't think I was being annoying. You're 100 percent being annoying. I think it was both of us, to be honest. Bro, just yeah, bro. Look, just listen to what I'm telling you. If a dude leaves you, it means you're being insufferable if, and annoying. Okay, no, that but what dope. if you're being like super supportive and like literally like you're you're an asset to his team? Your support did not override the insufferability. Guys are like pretty simple. Because so. here's the thing with women. This this is what I'm, this is the thing, and you're not even gonna notice, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect the dots for you. Whenever a girl makes more money than a dude, it puts her in an authority role inadvertently. And then she talks to him a little bit differently. She gets a little bit more pep in her step. She feels like she could talk to him any kind of way a little We're bit. Equals. She could yeah. argue with him Nigga. a little bit. Her opinion starts to matter. All this yeah. bullshit. This is why I tell guys all the time. You need to make way more money than your girl so you can tell her to shut the fuck up when she needs to shut the fuck up. Shut and up, And in your bitch. case, since you were higher ranked than him, you made more money than him. That puts you in an authority role. And you might not even have noticed it, but trust me, you probably came off and said things to him in certain ways, and he was like, man, fuck this bitch. He's annoying right. as fuck. And broke up with you. I'm just giving it to you raw. He ain't going to tell you that because he's going to hit you back up to fuck later. But I'm <laughs> telling you what it really is. Yeah. But he's never going to take you seriously ever again. It sucks, but that's... He's going to only hit you yeah, up for sex. That's reality. Yo, Myron, I got a question. Yeah. Yeah, Do you cool. think if you were just like not in the... No glazing, but in the top 1% of men, do you think if you were just a regular... Guy on the street, do you think you'll have as many options as you do now? Of course not. Y y y yeah, no, no. Your, your value as a man is 100% determined by uh, what you put out in the world, and then women are a byproduct. So if I was like an average guy, like if I took my same look and everything else like that, and I was an average guy and I was making a certain amount of money, yeah, my options would absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, status matters? You think a lot. you would have still had that like that attitude of like, listen to what I say? Still, yeah, I would. Do you but think they'll listen to you though? It depends on the girl. So the hotter the girl, she's like they're like Pokemon, bro. So like I always look at women like Pokemon. So like the higher the hotter she is, the higher level she is, uh, the more badges you need to get her to fall in line. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. 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 Like that's what it is, bro. Like the hotter the girl, the more Pokemon badges you need. Okay. And the, you know what I mean? So that's that's what it comes down to. So like, you know, you could still have the same standards, but you might not be able to get her to listen if you don't have your shit together. So I tell guys, you got to go to the gym, you got to make money, you got to be attractive, you got to do all this shit. And that way, like, you'll get more women to, like, respect you. Because I think the most important thing is, like, to get her to respect you. And every girl's different. Some girls want money, some girls need you to look good, some girls need you to be in shape. But if you have everything, then you can literally tell her to shut the fuck up and she'll listen to you. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. All in one. Like, it's, it's, it's um, like, I don't argue with women. I, I think they're inferior. In, 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 not to sound like an asshole, but I genuinely do think y'all are inferior in it's almost everything. Like huh? To sound like an asshole, not. It's the truth. Women yeah. are inferior in almost everything. Okay. I just, I just treat y'all how you guys are. Like I'm not gonna pe pedestalize women. I think the man's the leader. The man should be the fucking one that's you know, uh, um, what's the word I want to use here? The man should be the one that's pedestalized. And I think it works better like that when the woman treasures the man, not the other way around. If we sit here and babysit you guys and be like, oh, I love you, and buy you flowers every day and shit, y'all lose respect for us. But if you treat your guy like a fucking king, he ain't gonna leave you. I promise you. He might fuck another bitch though. But he ain't gonna leave you. So, um, can I share something? Sure. I just, I just wanna, 
Um, I just want to share something for the ladies. Um, and and I just want to share that, like, for a really long time, it was just me making all of the decisions for myself and just carrying, like, the burden, right, of my life and, like, me having to figure out everything. Um, and I do have, like, my, my dad, you know, but and we have, like, a rocket relationship. So, you know, he really couldn't be there for me, like, full on, right? Mm -hmm. So I just felt like I needed so much guidance and so much instruction because I kept making mistakes, you know, like, difference. like didn't choose the right man, like, didn't choose the right jobs, right? I was just making a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And when I surrendered everything to... To Jesus, he put order into everything because, you know, he's the father, you know, so he's the way to the father. Mm -hmm. So when the father came in, that's why God is the father, because we need like male, like that, that male, that, that, that fatherhood structure. Right. And the freedom that I feel, because, you know, like before we started working in all of this stuff, we were in that feminine, right, in that feminine of not having to make all of these decisions mm -hmm. and live with that burden right because for us it feels like a burden because we are emotional beings right? right we're more emotional than men yes. so our lives and the way that our bodies are wired are to work differently than than men's body mm -hmm. do right so when i gave and surrendered all of that to him he gave me so much freedom like literally freedom i wake up and i don't have one worry in my mind so i can be you know fe like feminine mm -hmm. i don't have to just carry all this burden on on me making the right decisions because we do get very emotional, we right? Do. And like we make a lot of the decisions based on our emotions. And for us, it feels like a really big deal. For us, it does feel like a roller coaster, I right? Agree. So when we are, when we don't have guidance, and when you, when we're in that moment, when you have your period and you have like all of these thoughts in your head, you cannot make the right choice, right? We take on the consequences of those actions, but we don't have to live like that, right? And you know. Obviously, it's hard to like for you to find the right man, or if you don't have a dad, whatever. But like, there is a way where you can actually be in your feminine, because mm -hmm. that's what we're supposed to be. Like, we're not supposed to be the decision makers. No, not at all. We're not supposed to carry the life on our back. Like, you know, Period. that's not yeah. how nothing was was ever supposed to be done. But that's why men need to be the leaders, mm -hmm. and that's how we can be, and you know, not have the pressure, because we were supposed to raise the kids, right? To be like kids, like like childlike with them as well, mm -hmm. and you know that's not going out and working and like doing all of these things that is staying in that emotional childlike thing that you can do when you are in your feminine mm -hmm. naturally when you yeah. lift off all of that burden and it can be lifted from you you know amen thank you so much for that sermon so she literally <laughs> said the same thing i've been saying what she said but nice and passive <laughs> Said, said because well. and and like you you even say that that a male cannot speak to girls like the Can't. same way yeah because I said the same exact thing pretty much but you know a couple girls here got angry right and that's the problem is that you women you guys care too couple much about girls? how the information is said versus what is said what I is told said. you guys what it really is and like feelings blah 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 yeah so but but it's because Minus that's how we are yeah and that's why you guys can't be leaders. <laughs> That, that, that like see as a leader you need to be able to take information quickly and that's and why we're not no trying to be leaders be though think logical, Abs right? no, absolutely. i don't think what? any woman are you trying to be a leader the head of a household no. are you trying to be a, the head of a household <laughs> leader <laughs> are you trying to be but hold on hold on okay. by you, okay hold on, but by so default, we already knew that by default that's common knowledge if you're going to be having your own household you are a leader and also for her man we're not the head of the household no not by default we're submissive to we're who? not leading. We're to who? To be. You're the man, the whoever is the leader. But you have, hold on, you're single, right? You know what I'm saying. We're speaking you're not about submissive. I, I know you're not already. It, look, <laughs> when I see a girl that's in her 30s that's still single, I already know there's something is off. And nine out of ten times that she's too masculine. Nice. Or she just doesn't want to be called bitches and assholes and all those types of things. That's so every single guy that came across that you dated called you a bitch or an asshole? No, just the ones here on this podcast. We're not the ones trying to date you. I'm saying, what about the past ten years? No, none of them have ever called me that. So then, so then, why are you? Like, I'm talking about this conversation here. She explained the same thing as you, minus what? What was the difference between the the delivery? Because you were more interested in how the information was conveyed versus the information itself. Oh no, there was extra things in the information that wasn't needed. That's exactly my point. You care more about how the information was conveyed versus the information itself. No, this is a she that's explained a it trait. properly. That's a see that. Why does it need to be explained properly? See, this is a different like. If you're in the military as a guy, right, and your fucking drill sergeant says, yo, drop down and give me 50, you piece of shit. You're going to drop down and give him 50. You don't care about, oh, no, ask me nice. 
That's the difference between men and women. You guys need to be spoken nice to. But we're, to. Not, but in we're not in the military. No, you're, if you're in the military, you're Come dropping. On, yeah, you're no, dropping. But, but like, yeah. but that's my point is that women have. You an said issue. women shouldn't go to the military. No, so they shouldn't. We, sh- they we shouldn't. shouldn't make scenarios about women in the military. I'm giving that as an example to display. That's not an example. I'm Let's use another an, one. See, you're ma- see, this is masculine behavior right here. You're over talking me, etc. Typical fem- black female behavior. So, <laughs> what, and this is why y'all always end up single, and you have lowest marriage rates, highest divorce rates are black women because of this shit right here. Because you guys think that. That my opinion matters. I'm not gonna bow down to no man. All the single ladies, all this other bullshit. Like that's just not how it goes. I didn't say any of that actually. No, no, no. But I can already tell that you're indoctrinated with that mindset because you think that you can over talk me when I'm telling you this is what it is. This is how it really is. You're more interested in the way the information is conveyed to you. A lot of black women have this mindset of talk to me nice or the tone, right? Tone policing. That's that's where a lot of black women have an issue with, which is why you guys have an issue with the masculine authority because with masculine authority we say what it is. It doesn't matter how we say it. It's what it is. But with black women, it's like, you talk to me a certain way, my tone police, because you guys are used to being around women all the time, right? You don't grow up in fatherless households, grow up with a bunch of drug dealer losers, etc. And you guys don't have real masculine authority around you, and you don't understand information is information, how it's conveyed doesn't matter. Did you have black... Um, like, yes, my parents you? are both still together. I came from a stable household. That's why I'm not a fucking retard, and I understand authority. I understand masculine authority. I understand that... And what was your someone, highest level of education? I'm a college graduate. What was your degree in? Criminal justice, former special agent, homeland security investigation. I did that for ten plus years. So I talked with all types of people Period. all across the world. Okay. Okay. So, and so that makes you qualified to speak for all black women. No, yeah. but I've studied you guys extensively. Okay. And I study a lot of social dynamics, and I know how women uh, how women think, and I especially when it comes to the black community and black women. A lot of you guys don't have father figures. So you guys don't understand how to deal with masculine energy. You don't un- understand how to deal with authority. You guys don't how to understand don't know how to understand. When a guy is telling you something very direct and matter of fact, you guys get offended and interpret that what I'm telling you through your feelings versus taking the information in being like, damn, okay, I might not like the way it was conveyed, but it's true. Well, I mean, I don't think everybody has to agree with your opinion. That's not um, an opinion. Did, that's a fact. For example, if you told me. Fact. It's not you, a fact. It is a fact. The black women everything, are, so, so are some of the lowest you, rated females when ev- it comes to dating. They everything have the that you say is a rates. fact? What I'm telling you right now, black because women, this is, is very your, true. Because this is your podcast, everything that you're saying is a fact. Everything that's, I just told you about black women is true. Yes, that is a factual statistic. That's an opinion. Next, so what are you saying? No, no, but, but hold on. Why is it opinion? Because he just went down the list of all of these things <coughs> that were opinions about what he felt about black women in their households. That doesn't mean that that was in my household. He doesn't know. Okay, see, opinion. this is what I mean when I say low IQ behavior. If you told me most violent offenders are black. And uh, if you look at the prison system, black, black men are disproportionately represented in the prison systems as felons. I will not sit there and tell you, well, I'm not, so you're wrong. That's your opinion. I would look at you and say, you're actually 100% correctly correct because I have the IQ to understand. I don't fit into that. However, that's irrelevant because what you said is an objective fact regardless of where I stand. See, but that's, that's a typical female behavior. Interpreting what I say, immediately attributing it to yourself by saying, well, I don't match to that, so that must not be true. Look, if you grew up in a two-parent household, that's irrelevant to the fact that most black women don't grow up in two-parent households. Okay, and you grew up in a two-parent household. Yes, so I did. What, that, that makes your opinion what? Well, you were asking me that. Yeah, but you you, you grew up in a two-parent pa- household. You're speaking through your ex- perspective and, and the way you were up, you brought up, right? Everybody's not brought up that same way. I understand that, but that's, but that's precisely why I'm saying so many black women have an issue with masculine authority because you guys are not used to it. Okay, well, that's not me. So, that I never said you. Oh, well, I'm speaking about myself because I can only speak. I'm a black woman, so I can only speak from my See, perspective. See, that, that's 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 low IQ behavior because th- for you to sit there and say, "Well, I'm only speaking from my perspective," that that doesn't refute. Because I'm a black woman, you're that, speaking about black women. Okay, but that does not refute the fact that what I said is still objectively true about black women. Just like I gave you the example before, if you told me that. Uh, a lot of the drug dealers and criminals, etc., are black pe- bl- men, and black men disproportionately commit violent crime in America. I wouldn't sit there and tell you, well, that's not true because I was a former special agent. That's stupid. Okay. Like, I'm not going to get offended because you said something objectively true about my race. All right. Whether it's derogatory or not. Yes. Okay. Yes, whether it's derogatory or not. Like, I'm sure. not going to sit here and argue with you if you said something that's true. All right. So what I miss? You, you missed... Uh, you, you missed... Uh, you missed some good stuff, but yeah, I, 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 again, this is this is. All right, look, thirty-four years old and you're still single. Something's wrong with you as a woman. Just keep it a thousand. Like, there's no reason you should be thirty-four years old and single as a woman. You should have already had a man or a serious boyfriend or married at some point. Okay, you said that three times. We confirmed that already. So, are we gonna be 
did you want to find me a bachelor or somebody so that I could not be single or? Well, what's, no, what's, I'm hoping that you take this advice, go out into the world with it and be like, instead of interpreting it through your feelings, you're interpreting it rationally and be like, damn, okay, something is correct here. Maybe I do need to change what I'm doing and maybe I do need to put myself out there on the market or maybe I need to lower my standards and find a guy that makes 30, 50 K per year. That's going to treat me well. He might not be the most good looking guy, but he's going to treat me well because women's standards are too fucking high. All yep. of you think you deserve a guy that's making a hundred thousand plus a year, six foot tall, good looking with a jawline, etc. And most of you guys, quite frankly, don't qualify. Maybe I should take your advice. I don't have to, but thank you for your unwarranted opinion. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's what I'm trying to say, see? Like yeah. the, the, the whole... It's... it's you know bro, what? It's, At this point... Fucking doom, bro. This is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Like This is why it's so ID, many modern women are fucking doomed, bro. Like, they don't live... You got a multimillionaire telling you what it takes to fucking attract and attract... Get a guy and keep him. And you're like, well, I don't tell when you're unwarranted yeah, opinion. Damn. That's why you're on the fucking situation that you guys are in. That's why you guys are fucking single, childless, no family, going back to your fucking house with your cats and shit like that, <laughs> wondering why life sucks. Antidepressant medication. Like, bro, this is this is the modern woman. We okay. wish you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, chats. Okay. Yeah, we can read some chats. Holy. Does anyone else have anything? Yeah, let's um end the show, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Look, you can get up and leave anytime you want. <laughs> yeah, it feels like uh, you're you're being you're enduring it, and if you really don't like it, and you're so offended, and you're mad, and you keep saying I'm next not offended. And stuff, you I'm can just... get up at any time and walk out. I Trust knew me. that already. Okay, so just uh, it's not your show, so don't try to rush things. Um, <laughs> Somebody just said that they should end the show, and I just agree. who gives a fuck what he says? Is yeah. he the host? I mean, he's speaking. So okay, but is he the host though? I agreed with him. Oh well, <laughs> you know what? The show will end for you. Get up and get out of here. Okay, bye. Thank God. Yeah. Right. Just, oh, yeah, just God get up and real. leave. Oh, man. Incredible, bro. All right. Hey, the, lo, yo, lowest rating on Tinder and Bumble and all the dating apps. Is, you guys go see right there. Hey, man. Masagini. Once you go black, you never go back. No, once you go black. No, no. You go find a white girl. After. <laughs> yeah, you say, fuck this shit, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, hell, even you'll take an Israeli. Uh, let's go. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, well, we are locals. Uh, yeah, we're uh, locals, yeah. man. I'll, I'll take that over. Yeah. W Martin. What? Yeah, W Martin. Hey, man. I agree. Uh, let's move forward. We are locals. Fresh, Fresh update. Send a six dollar tip. Appreciate what, that. What do you say? Uh, he Never probably mind. said something about you Never being mind. black. Yeah, probably. Uh, Yo, Mario, did you see how they made the new Aquaman movie all about global warming? All the new superhero movies are being used to push woke propaganda. Yeah, it's gay. Damn. Martin, when women say that height matters, you should burst out the scale right away and tell them to stand on it. Uh, if the question. It then tell them weight matters for men. You can control your weight, but not your height. Also, fresh. I thought you got the new you. You still be soft like Chris with the sound effects after the shit eating bimbo got heated. No, no, okay. I'm not. The gender advocates the most and the loudest for the right to kill a fetus has lost the right to talk about how nurturing they are. Oh shit! Oh shit! WFNF. They do black female women always do their best to prove every stereotype. Yeah, bro. They always do, bro. Man, look, man. I'm. A, you ever dated? You ever dated a black girl? I have, but n not rarely. They're mm -hmm. like the minority. No in, pun intended. In Barbados, yeah, I have. You have? Yeah. Would you say it's like the same experience as like what people usually be saying? I'm not gonna I think it means a, a island Caribbean women versus American black women. Is that what you mean? Nah, but you I'm saying general, like in general. In general, like the st like the stereotypes. Seriously. Would you say they're true? Bro, once you get experience? some money, man, avoid black chicks, bro. Keep it a million. With you. <laughs> Yo, I'm yeah, once you get some money, man, man, fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. Uh, of the same stuff that they say. So, sorry to say it, but it, it is. Bro, stereotypes are true, bro. Loud, obnoxious, ratchet, try hey, to challenge you and shit. If I want a girl, I go in the snow, I look for bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, you a Texas man. Get you a Mexican, man. Yeah. Get uh, you a Mexican, bro. They're crazy too, man. Yeah, they, they, they are, but like, just get one from like, you know, from... Uh, you be playing in the snow in the summer? Are there snow in the summer? Oh, all year round, brother. Okay. That shit's messy. I love it, though. <laughs> Fresh like to get mellow in the yellow control. too. Miss <laughs> Piggy got pics like this on her Instagram. The enough. Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. She already left, man. Okay. Yo. Kamala Harris slept with Willie Brown. Well known for being a Kong maker in politics, he was much older than her. Brown said that he helped many politicians with their careers, including Harris, Nancy Pelosi, Gavin Newsom, and Diane Feinstein. All Jews. Uh, so yeah, she slept her way to her appointment. After she made it, she threatened that she would prosecute him if she, if he so much as jaywalked. Heh, women. Question for you: uh, What's your thoughts on Netanyahu, Miss Israel? Wait, is to what? What's your thoughts on Netanyahu? <laughs> again, again. Okay, what are your thoughts on Benjamin Netanyahu? 
Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> yes, your prime minister. <laughs> oh, uh, I think he's cool. <laughs> Did you vote for him? Yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah. Likud party. All right. We'll move on. <sighs> I just wanted to see. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is crazy, bro. This is yo. This is crazy, dog. I mean, we all. Do you have anything you want to say back? Say back to him. He's trying to make fun of you. Saying this is what you look like in real life versus Instagram. I still look hot. Yeah. Debatable. Uh, if women told each other the truth, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> two ovaries down for fresh. You're 34. You haven't found a man, nor do you. Oh, this is a black chick. Yeah. yeah. Keep waiting. You'll be left to buy a dog. It's a peanut butter. And let the dog do the work. Your oh husband. my god. Oh man. That is gross. Yeah, that is terrible. Haitian. Mine is right. Time. You're a hoe. They do take me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mine, watch out. Someone at the table been staring at your watch. You know who it is. <laughs> oh my god. Well, how did I miss that? Yo, what the <laughs> heck? Oh my god. Yo, Next to fresh. watch, bro. Next to fresh. No. Next to fresh. Okay. I'm confused. The girl next to me is staring at your watch. You know, trying to take something from you. Uh, let's move forward. Um, yeah, you know, let's move Miss Israel? She was staring at my watch. You, but yeah. you know the Castle Club chat. You know how they get. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, WFNF, women will dodge accountability like Neil with bullets in the Matrix. SMH, okay. Uh, Blue, Blue Silent, Silent, okay. Uh, I'm calling it right now. Religious girl gonna meet Frank Castle tonight. No, she's cool. No, she's cool. What do you call a woman taking accountability? Tell my future grandkids that when y'all find out. Bro, <laughs> uh, D-Rap says, we haven't done this in a while. Let's go around the panel and ask ladies if they think their guy friend is actually their friend. If they say yes, Myron, then fresh, y'all know what to do. How many of you have guy friends? Raise your hands. They would fuck us if we asked them to. Damn, they know what's up. Damn. Anybody here have guy friends? Uh-uh. No? Nope. Israel, I know you, you got, got guy friends. friends. Well, I don't believe it. You don't believe in it? Guys, friends? No. It's the smartest thing you've said all night. Damn. Uh, okay, you know what? Since we're on the friend thing. Okay. Oh, shit. Walk House Club. Go ahead. Dinner with Hitler, or you got to fuck a guy in the friend zone. This nigga. Start here with you. What would you rather do? Dinner with Hitler, or fuck a guy in the friend zone? Um, dinner with Hitler. Damn. Okay. What about you? Oh, dinner with Hitler. Fuck. Damn. Yeah, dinner with Hitler. All right, what about you? Dinner with Hitler. Dinner with Hitler, or fuck a guy <laughs> in the friend zone? We need Hitler and I'm gonna kill them there. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay, so you'll do the dinner with Hitler, but you'll try to kill him. With the knife, like this. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna, okay, so you're gonna kill him, all right. Interesting. Um, what are you gonna ask him on a dinner date? We know what she's gonna do. She's gonna try to kill him. And then what are you gonna ask him on a dinner date? Probably why he did all that. Yeah. What do you do? Kill all those people. What people? I'm not too educated in that, so I just know that Six he million killed... Jewish people. Thank you. Yeah. Was it six million? Yo, man. Six million Jewish I didn't know that. Really? Oh, okay. What about, uh, what would you ask? I would ask him the same thing. What would you ask specifically? Like, why he killed all those people? What, what, like, what was in his mind that made him, like, hate Jewish people? Why you still let him breathe? You don't need to breathe. Why are you let him to breathe? Did you or know why that? Why you allowing him to breathe? Did Got you know it. that uh, Hitler actually had 150,000 Jews in his army? Yeah. So did he really hate Jews? Like Hitler, yeah, yeah, he really hate Jews. He just want to kill all of them, all of them, kids, babies, all of them. But he had a, he had one hundred fifty thousand of them in his army. Yeah. So why would he hate Jews if you had them in his army? Well, you I didn't know, know that, did you? I don't know why. Mm. I think he just jealous on Jew because Jew people was be rich and accept. That's what I think. And he's just jealous. He's just trying to kill all of them. I don't see no reason to kill babies. But he didn't babies. try to kill all of them because he had them in his army. But he still kill his soldier. He kill everyone. Yeah. If you Jew, I kill you. That's it. It's not matter. He used them to his army for be stronger. They don't want to be in the army. No Jew want to be in his army. He make them. He How did he kill them. the six million out of curiosity? How I? How did he kill those six million Jews? How in you know Gaz? The gas chambers. Gas chambers, yeah. And so many ways, yeah. Okay, so many ways. interesting. Uh, what about you? Uh, what would you ask him? Or you said dinner with Hitler, right? What would you ask him? Um, yeah, I would ask him, like, why and, you know, what's going on. What was going on in his head or, like, the purpose or what he was trying to accomplish. Okay. Have you ever been to Auschwitz? No. You've never been? No. You've never but been to the gas chambers? You know the doors open from the inside, right? <laughs> I, uh, all my class go there, but me no. Did you know that they altered it after the Russians took it over too? Mm-hmm. Like I know what's going on. 
I don't think you do because 6 million Jews did not die during the Holocaust. Not all of them. Some of them and some of them just shoot, shoot them. Like, like I said, so many ways. It wasn't 6 million Jews that died in the Holocaust. No. That's a lie. Some of, some of them in the gas, okay, some of them died. There were no gas shoot. chambers. Why not? Yeah. What was the gas that they used? I don't know. It was Zyklon B. You know what Zyklon B is? So, so what are you saying? How, how all of them die? Not through gas chambers. So how? So Zyklon B is actually to kill lice because there was typhus going on in World War II. Okay, so how did they die, all of them? Well, the thing is is that they weren't all Jews. A lot of them were prisoners of war that were Russians and Polish that weren't Jews. And it wasn't just Jews that got killed at these camps. You can check on Google six and see. Six million Jews. It wasn't yeah. six million. You can see in Google. I Google know lies saying. about that. No, it's not. Who no, owns Google? You can see. Who owns Google? Yeah. I don't know. I you don't know. That's what I know, okay? That's what I know. That's what I know. He's if trying he... to kill the, all the Jew people. That's what I know. Okay? okay. You know it's impossible to kill six million Jews in four years. There weren't even six million Jews in Europe at that time. He took them to, I don't know how to explain it, okay? But he took all of them and just, his soldiers just killed them. You can check Google. I don't know. To World War II is one of the most lied about things ever. And uh, six million Jews did not die in the Holocaust. That's a lie. It's been debunked a million times. It's a phys okay. physically impossible. It takes two hours to cremate a body. There's no way that you can have 15 gas... Okay, so how many die? Maybe... Jews or everybody? Jewish. He Somewhere between to 50 to 300,000. Specific the Jewish. 50 to 300,000, I'd say. Not six million. Impossible. I think it's not that. Okay. Uh, I need to teach you some history. Uh, no, you're not. You guys I have know lied. better than you. You, you don't. Yes, you I don't am. even know what the gas chambers were. Yes, I am. I just don't know how to explain it to you in English, <laughs> but I know. We can talk about it later. Okay. Um, what do we got here? Uh, we got Lizapan. Uh, ladies, would you rather have a full career, make money, travel the world, sleep with a celebrity or two, but ultimately die? Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. <laughs> uh, Brett01, send a $5 tip. All right, Fresh, can you handle these? I got to piss yeah. real quick. But tell fear. Tell to you. Maverick says, WFNF, L panel, you guys should have had Sneeko on a special guest instead of this. All right. You're yo, Maverick, yo, Maverick. You just wasted 20 bucks. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Toof says, what's up, Myron? Question for you and Navy Shawty. I got a boy that just got recently laid off, and I'm recommending him to the Army. Do you guys think it's a good idea to join the Army at 26? What do you think? Uh, I think it's a good idea, but he'll just he'll be listening to people younger than him. But honestly, I would tell anybody like that needs to come up to join the military because they <laughs> literally got you. Like, you're good. Money, housing, food. Like, you're, you're set. So if you're broke and you have no other option, join the military if they accept you medical wise and everything. That's, that's pretty solid. Um, Speed Sorcerer says, I think respecting women is the way to go. Okay, great. Uh, sure, Joe says, reading from Fresh. Uh, Beasting 3. <laughs> Who's Beasting? Oh <laughs> That's her. <laughs> Fight the power for the black girl that left. Mega Mind 5. Oh my God. Curly Fries 6. Gracious Lord, five. You used okay. five dollars to send that. How embarrassing <laughs> are you? <laughs> okay. Adam Russell says, for the other, I guess the hoe. The do, you, Jew. do you know God cursed some of them and became monkeys and pigs? Oh my God. Sure, sure says, girl next to fresh. Don't worry. For beast things, wash area with soap and water. Apply ice or a cold compress. Topical steroid helps too. You want to respond to him at all? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, Talton says, this dude. What do you say? Maybe if I agree with these hoes, I can smash. Y'all <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. some assholes, man. Uh, ladies, let's say you haven't given your man coochie in three weeks. Should he, A, hold it in, be a man, B, find alternative coochie slash watch porn? What did he give an extra forehead for, bro? I don't know I why. I know what? <laughs> To foreign fun a country hoe. If you wear the uniform, men assume you do the job. Okay. <laughs> Tall Tim. Uh, chick next to Fresh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys some assholes, bro. <laughs> Man, and please set up. You live right next, right now with 1,000 watches. Suppose you sell me to, what? Supposed to sell me a dream. No one goes, yo, this nigga, bad. <laughs> you guys some assholes. 
What's up, brother? LL ladies, question for you. Let's say uh, your boyfriend got exposed for doing gay porn for. If... <laughs> no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, see, yeah, that's a no okay. all around. Cool. Um, yo, someone got the spotlight off the five head. <laughs> how do, okay, I got a question. How are they editing this? Like, where do they. membership site. Castle Club. Uh, Castle Club locals. Uh, yo, someone get. Okay, we, what else we got here? Yeah. Uh, yo, she wanted the boys, Myron. S- Myron gonna have a field day. Hey, man, I already. Look, I would only talk about the Holocaust guys on fucking Castle Club. I would never do that shit on YouTube Damn, or Rumble. Because they're, uh, like, okay. they're faggots <laughs> with that shit, bro. Like, they'll, they'll start crying and shit. Even Fresh Swine right now. And Mo. Um, Swim. Bullets, nigga. Yeah. And, and Mo. Okay. Um, dude, Hitler is the most lied about person in history. Um, FNF, making big moves lately. Shout out to getting Cashew from the Proud family on the show. Oh, damn. It doesn't even cooking. look like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, they cook it, man. What the it's heck? It's not even accurate. Sorry, Miss Portugal. Uh, what else do we got here? Angola. Uh, well, she's Portuguese, too. Yeah. That's it? Okay. All right. We'll get the last thoughts of the ladies. How was the show for you? Hate it, love it. Tell us your thoughts on the show. It was fun. <laughs> Who did 9 11? Oh, my God. 9 11? Yeah. When the planes hit the Twin Towers? Who was behind that? I don't know. You don't know? Wait. I don't understand the question. Okay. Mm-hmm. On September 11th, when the planes hit the towers in America, in New York City. Okay. Who did that? Mm-hmm. Who did it? I don't know. Who did it? <laughs> Wait. You said we Wait. did it? No, I said who. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. All right. Typical is really answer. I don't know. All right. What about you? Uh, <laughs> you don't know. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I don't understand the question. I don't know. I'm not sure. Was it Muslim? Muslim? Oh, your thoughts on the show? Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then who did 9-11? about this oh, building? Damn. The Twins building? Yeah, the Twin Towers. Yeah, who did that? Of course, that? it's Arabic. Muslims. Is it Arabs? <laughs> it was Arabs. <laughs> yeah, I was right, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, She's right. Mossad, bro. She's Mossad, man. All right, what, well, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I agree okay. with your points. That's yep. why I didn't have any rebuttal with it. And I thought so it was the Muslims, right? Uh, you, okay, you know what specific Muslims did it? Arabic? Or is that wrong? <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't I don't expect you guys to know this answer. God. Okay, um, what about you? I think the show was great. Uh, you were speaking some facts, and honestly, it makes me realize, like, damn, I probably did get left for a good reason. Um, no, n- not probably. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. Go out fresh after. He'll, he'll show you around. Oh, no, yes, the- sir! He got you. <laughs> no. he got you got you. a girl? Hmm? You got a girl? No, he doesn't. He's uh, actually very single, and, you know. <laughs> no, I got some hoes. Hey, do you find him attractive? <laughs> Ooh, yes. I'm not looking right now. I'm not gonna lie. Man. Oh. Yep. No. no we're, come Stop on, man. Cow. We're cool. Man, this is yeah. the rebound, man. No, we're, we're cool. Yeah, 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 nigga, you look he, like him too. He's single. He's single. And, and fresh is. No, he's taking Israel out. And, and fresh is Caribbean. <laughs> He donated he's taking shit bet out. Yo, shit and, bet. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, Fresh, thanks for letting me borrow the Lambo the other day, man. Anytime, brother. Anytime, yeah, brother. Okay. I really appreciate brother, it. Brother, brother, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, uh, oh, who did 9-11? Oh, my God. The Arabics? The Middle Eastern people? Damn. Yeah, people, okay. people like him. Yeah, oh, I guess. was it Osama bin Laden? Oh, okay. Actually, okay. yeah. Right. You're getting warmer. Anybody else involved? Al- Al-Ka- Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda? Al-Qaeda? Algeria. Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda. Bro, you're a service member, man. Come on. Man, we don't talk about this. Come on, man. <laughs> Everyone knows that the SEAL team. Oh, the they do all all the time. Huh? What they do, the Hamas doing to us to use all the time. All the time. Bro. All the time. So what okay, so what they did to us the Hamas does to you guys all the time? Um, Terrorism every day. Missiles. Yeah. Bombs. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's that's so why fucked up. I'm here. Oh, oh that's why okay, so that's why you came over here. I want chilling life. I don't want war. I want peace of all. You got tired of Hamas. Um, Hamas. Yeah. I'm 10 minutes from Gaza. Oh, shit. You ever been to Gaza? Mm-hmm. I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I've been, I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. fair enough. Uh, what about you? All right, what would about you? you? Why yeah. would you let her cross that um, border? <laughs> no, they, 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 bro, yeah, you can't go there as Israeli. Uh, Free I Palestine, wanna, though. It was fun. Free Palestine, no, man. No, fuck Palestine. Oh, see, I knew she was going to say that. Typical. She, bro, she voted for Netanyahu. Of course she's going to say that. No, no, it's no not comment, me. Martin. I just need to tell you something. Go ahead. How many Arab countries do have in the world? A lot, right? Yeah, there's a bunch. Okay, how much Jewish countries do have? One. Right? There's one, yeah. 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 There's one Israeli state. If they talk Israel, they call Palestine. So where all the Jewish people go? We have no place to go. That's why it's war all the time. They want Israel called Palestine. They want to kill all the Jews. Call it Palestine. But where we go, 
They have so many other Madagascar. countries to go. You guys had a couple options. Why? It's, it's my country. I need to leave. But the well, time, that's the war all the time. Yeah, but that's what you guys did to the Palestinians in 1948. You kicked them out. No. Yes. We was being the Nakba. all the time. No, it's you were there the whole Israel time? All the time. It's never was Palestine. Okay, tell me about no, this. I understand that. It was the Ottoman Empire before that. But explain this to me. How? Why is it that when you look at Jews, Ashkenazi Jews, which is like the mostly of Israel, none of you guys have bloodlines that tie back to that land? You're all from Europe. No. My dad's from Morocco. Okay, there's not, not many. Most most Jews are not from uh, from Africa. Most, most, the Jews. most Jews are from Europe. And we're Jews from the ones Africa that are in too, from Ethiopia, Morocco, Tunis. But that's a minority. That's that's a minority. Most Jews are from Europe. There are some that are from Morocco. Yes, there's oh, some no, from Ethiopia. There's some even from Egypt. But most most uh, Jews. No, most of them. No, I I'm living in Israel. I was living in Israel. I know. No, most of them. Sometimes people touch, they have no black people in Israel, and we have different No, I know you guys do, the Somalians. But Ethiopians, most yeah. Jews are from Europe. No. Yes. <laughs> DNA testing is banned in your country for no reason. Go to Tel Aviv and look around. Habib, you don't know what you're talking about. What the hell? You don't know Okay, that's fine, man. You, you don't even know how many people died in the Holocaust. That's fine. We well, know from the all countries, not just from Europe. Oh, no. Okay. A majority of Israelis are from Europe. But we can have this discussion because these guys want to go home. So uh, uh, that's fine. What you were saying? Go ahead. Is she going to have dinner with us? Oh, no, that I had a great time. You had a good time? Yeah. I'm glad. You know who killed Jesus, though, right? Who killed Jesus? Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> Poncio Pilato. I'm sorry. I don't know it in English. What does that mean? Roman. Yes. W well, hold on. But why did the Romans kill him? Oh, because of the Pharisees and the religious leaders. She don't want to say it. It was the Jews, man. The Jews killed Jesus, man. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Jews. all right. What are your thoughts on Jesus? I love Jesus. He's kind of God. And Jesus was Jewish. Wait, are you a Christian Jew? Jew? I'm Jewish. And uh, Jesus So you practice Jew. the Torah and the Talmud? Yeah. I'm not believing Jesus, but I love Jesus. I love him. I respect okay, him. Right. I believe in God. Yeah. Your religion doesn't respect she him. She don't know what she is. Yeah. <laughs> I know Jesus, okay. Jesus was Jew. That's what I know. Yeah, but according to... You guys killed him, man. You guys said he was a sorcerer. Um, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not hate no one. You hate Palestinians because they hate me. They want to kill me. If okay, I'm not hate for no reason. Okay? You, stole your, you stole their land, man. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. That's another discussion. I'm not hate for no reason. Okay. What? What? Anything else? That's it. No, we're done. That's it. That's it. All right, brother. Where can the people find you? Um, I know this might have been political for your audience. I hope they're not too mad. No, nah, they're not mad. They, they straight. Uh, now nah, y'all can find me on YouTube. Yup, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. There's no point because they would not watch my content. <laughs> they probably did not take me seriously this whole pair podcast. But hey, nah, I'm not gonna nah, lie. They, they so, caught on that you were trolling, bro. Yeah, yeah, they, they yeah. caught on that you were trolling. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie though. Like I appreciate Fresh. I appreciate Myron for inviting me. Absolutely, you know, bro. not gonna lie. It was actually fun. This I would do it again. Do it again. All right. If you're sure. in town next week. Nah, let me know, bro. Yeah. If right. you're in town next week. Thank you for coming, bro. No problem. Yeah, next time you come with the questions. Nah, I, we'll there's a lot of questions show. I want to ask, but hey, look, next time uh, I got some we'll good questions. You, bro, fuck it. You can run it next time, man. This shit draining, bro. Yeah. I'm losing <laughs> hair. I'm losing yeah, hair right. talking to these girls, running, man. You can run it next time. Real talk. If you're still in town next week, like, no, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Call some questions, you run it. Okay. All right. Cool. That, we'll make that happen then. Um, cool. Uh, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the show. We'll catch you guys on the next episode on Monday. Wednesday. Well, no, I mean oh, Monday for Fresh Fit, nigga. That's when you work, you bum. Right, yeah, right, but, uh, yeah. Hey, it's tough, man. <laughs> the rest of us got to fucking keep going, man. Hey, nigga, yeah, Money up, Monday, man. guys. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we got a... Do we got a guest? I believe we do, actually. Who? Um, Who? You got to hit us up on the side. Oh, no. I'll tell you after. Okay. All right. And if not, we're going to talk about credit, man. And then I think we're going to have more quote for an after... For a uh, for a Zoom call as well, Monday cool. night. Love you guys. Peace. Peace. I run, I run so